pretty sure Nice Little Republic's like two bucks Sorry, on go. Steam, by the way. Yeah, we're in combat, so for sorry, go. Sorry, Moth, I thought we were done talking about Knights of the Old Republic. We're never, talk we're talking, never about done talking about it. Yeah, okay. That's a good answer. Oh, you're, uh, you're uh, a bold no man. <laughs> Am I? He's a bold, what? she is a bold woman. There you go. Yeah, a bold individual. Oh, I think he said he's an old man, which confused me. Yeah, same. A bald man. No, an old man. Holy shit! Yeah, you tried that last time. Let's see if it works. Bounces off. Bounces off. Uh, I also just want to throw in there that was a critical success. I understand. Yeah. It critically, you saw it impact, and it looked like it stunned it a little bit, and then it bounced right off. You critically saw it hit. <laughs> <laughs> Your eyes were so oh, focused on it hitting. And bouncing off. Yep. It's not enough. Sorry. By the way, that was a... Uh, go for it. 10 to the Righteous Fury. Yep, go for the Righteous Furies. What's the highest they, amount of damage you can do? Bounces they off. both were. Bounces off. Oh, the 51 was the highest you could do? Bounces off. God damn! Bounces off. Okay, uh... Yeah, nope, I can go a bit more on this one. And there it is. And now I'm out of heaven. Beep, 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 you. Yep. And I retreat. Are those all mel melted pistols? Not all. Okay, well. The Exodus pistol's a ballistic weapon. Okay, you just saw a combination of uh, melta and ballistics all impacting everything around that thing. <laughs> and you definitely see its shield is a brilliant blue after doing all that nonsense. Brothers, I believe it and may it be time to static. run! It's really shiny. Keep hitting it. Maybe it'll break. <laughs> that or hit it with the melee weapon. Very low, go. Uh... After witnessing what I saw was a catastrophic failure, despite Brazora's uh, skills and the potency of her weapons, uh, I am running. I am. I am running away. I'm running the fuck away from this thing, whatever it is. You're a space marine. <clears throat> so maybe I shouldn't run. You okay. don't know the word fear. I didn't oh. have any fear to imagine, right? Uh, no, it's, you see, it's a tactical retreat. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. Although, I don't know. Do you guys want me to run? I'm just going to ask Make you guys. Make an intelligence check to see if that actually did anything. Uh, who's... Yeah, I can do that. All right. Intelligence. See how stupid I Yeah, I'm pretty dumb. It did something. You're convinced it did something. You were going to trust it. All right. <clears throat> I believe I should try and attack this thing. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to attack it with my bolter. A rocket launcher or something? No, I don't think I've requisitioned a rocket launcher for this mission. Mm. Oh. Certainly not signature gear. Do you have any tried, What if you try to throw the ground below it? Uh, you have crack grenade under it. Yeah. Yeah, I'll probably do that. I do have crack grenades. I throw a crack grenade at its feet. And there's the damage. Oh wait, that's frag grenade, god damn it. You throw it at his feet or you throw it at it? His feet. Okay. 
It should have more penetration than that. Apparently, yeah. I haven't added the crack grenade to this character sheet yet. Uh, crack grenade does six penetration, and it's a three d ten plus four. It's three d ten plus four. This is just the two d ten. Add yeah. another d ten. Add four, and then three ten. Yep. Just adding this to the sheet. Uh, so, 1d10, oh wow, okay, so oh, that so would be 27, damage. well, plus 4, 27 plus 4, 31, thank you, and it's a righteous fury, nice, throw another, can I even do that, well, uh, if you're attacking the ground, I guess no, well, well, no, he's he attacking I mean, the can, thing. He you just... can still get a righteous fury for attacking the ground. He's no, he's, attack... it. no he's, he's attacking, attacking the creature. He just he's just targeting the ground with it. Oh, I thought he was trying to blow up the floor underneath it. No. I was trying to blow up the floor underneath it. No. Oh. oh. So that's... you can still get a righteous fury, but you have to roll to confirm it because it's not against an alien. Yeah. Just oh, God. For attack. How did the, uh... Oh, my God. Roll hit. You just rolled the, the same attack with the same modifiers. Okay. Here we go. Okay, it hits. Hey. Nice, nice. Hmm. And not nice. Well, hopefully it's nice damage against the floor. I mean, 47 damage in total against the floor. Okay. You see a giant hole in the floor beneath the creature. Um, I watched the creature. I watched. No, it's bigger than the hole that he created. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, and I mean, it's it... Kai, Kai just looks down, looks at you. <laughs> what is this pothole you have made, so brothers? I don't think it works. It's like this big. Yeah. Yep. No, it's 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 very statuesque over that. Yeah, I bet I could step right over that. And it seems very liquidy and very agile, so... It's a T-1000. It's not, it's not as big and dumb as that dreadnought you faced. Look, ladies, go. Sweet, I cast Force Dome. Cast what now? Force Dome. What's that do? Is that the oh. plastic shield? Uh, sweet! Zero degrees of success is a success. Holy crap. <laughs> hey, good. Not do even your, close. Do your dome thing. So, uh, everyone now, within 100 meters of me, uh, gets an extra 20 armor. Nice. Alright. I'm sorry, within 100 meters of me, not 140, because I didn't push it. Uh, within 100 meters of me. Uh, that was not a double, right? No, it was not a double roll. Don't got to roll in the charts. Uh, but then that's my action. All right. Okay. Uh, my action. I'm going to use my new doodad on my shield and extend its force field to accommodate everyone to give them another plus 20 armor and... Oh, Jesus. Plus 10, uh... Actually, how did it work? Hold on, was it on a test? Let me see. Mm, because I think I give you plus 10... On a psychic test somehow? So let me see the chart. Camouflage, camouflage, no, no. No. Ah, fuck. I don't think I saved the description. I think I only saved the stats. But anyways, at least you all get 20 armor. Uh, that's gonna be it. I'm just gonna be standing in uh in this place. Jeez, so we now all have plus 40 armor. Yes, yep. we all have plus 40 armor. Okay. Uh, and I'm gonna move up here 
to cover Rukutio. There you go. In my turn. Okay. Uh, it's the robots. He shrunk. Oh. What? Yeah, it's, He's it's splitting up again. Yeah, it's One of up. them looks slightly smaller than the rest. Yeah. <laughs> I did do damage. Hell yeah. Yeah, it's clearly you split them into multiple. Yep. Uh, no, no, it must have been that hole. He's like, I can't step over that. I gotta break into small ones and go around. <laughs> I suppose I should stipulate that uh, my plus 20 armor is only against range attacks and not melee attacks. Ah. That would have been useful information for Karnoth, who's a melee character. Yep. And That's they're, okay. They're well, there. they've been shooting at us when I got up here, so that's why I did it. And now they're going into melee, so... <laughs> miss. And then the next he's, one He's misses. pretty good at and fucking people up in melee. One hits Rookie, and the last one is also Rookie. Both the okay. ones hit Rookie. I can, uh, I can do a dodge check, right? Yes. And dodge one. A lot. Do you have a talent called Step Aside? <clears throat> okay, dodge roll does move you physically. So you could move out of the other one's melee range if you go... Yeah, since they're like on the opposite up. sides of you. Yeah. But is that a skill? No. That's just how dodging works. Oh, ah, so you're gonna, roll, works. you're gonna roll into the one that, that missed you completely and then avoid the damage of the other one. Uh, if I were you, I'd roll out of the range of the one who right, is so, going to hit you. Yeah, if that's an ability, you can use it. If not, pay point and do that. I believe it's just how dodges work. It's just how it, oh how works. dodge dodge works. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's what I said. If it's an ability, just do it. So go ahead. So you can you can add your movement if it was like what a half move plus your dodge. Yeah, plus Engineers. whatever you roll on the dungeon meters. Okay. Yeah, you'll avoid the damage of the other guy. So my half move is 7 plus 3. 3.9, so, so about 4. So it's like, what, 11 meters? Yeah, 10, 11. So I can be... I think I'm going to put myself right about here. Oops. Yeah, seems good enough. Yep, so that way you're not taking... You know, 79 yes. points. Yeah. There. Yeah. That'd be, uh, painful. Reduced by 20. Okay, uh, restore our go. I reload all my weapons. My turn is over. Uh, I got three weapons to reload. Rookie to you. Rookie. Ah. Um, now I think I'm, uh, convinced that a tactical retreat is in order here. So, uh... I think your character can wisely assume that. Or can he? Go ahead and do another intelligence. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, here we go. Yes. Uh, yeah. Man. He's deduced this is dumb. We should get out of here. This is dumb. We should get out of here. Yes. However, I am pinned here. So you're take, you're going to take what four tax of opportunity just to get out of that mess? Tax exactly. of opportunity don't exist in this. They don't. But they do. But he can parry. They don't. He can parry. I, however quickly they do. Oh, maybe I'm wrong. Uh, let me check. I guess. But yeah, double check. I'm pretty sure they do. They're they're, they're calling something else, but. Otherwise, melee would be literally pointless. It's like, I just walked past you. Uh, 
Or you have to disengage, right? I think that's what it is. You have to disengage. Yeah, you oh. probably have to disengage to get out of the. Yeah, you can disengage. Let me actually look it up. Uh, here, free attacks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The... So there, there, there is, there is attacks of opportunity. There are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay then. Yeah, I, I just, it just makes sense, like mechanically in the style of game. Otherwise, it, you'd just be kiting them with mm. melee. Come in, hit them, run out. If I remember right, you can't attack and move unless you have a specific talent to do that, though. No, 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 no. I mean, like, um, in in the in the rounds and turns that go on, you you would literally avoid most most melee engagements. Yeah. Because dodging is like super easy. You just make a really dodgy runny runny character. You'd always hit them. They never hit you. Oh, ooh. I have something nice. Okay, all right. All right, so turns. rookie. Yeah, rookie. What are you doing, man? Uh, I mean, I think that's my turn. Unless I can take a pot shot at at this thing. Mm, you can right. always move. Move. No, you dodged. You You're, dodged. You haven't dodged. Dodged. Oh, turn. oh, right. I've yeah, done let's literally say nothing. Yeah, on their turn. Got it. Um. Hmm. Where are you gonna tactically retreat to? Deeper to the base or further out of the base? That's the question. The only thing you haven't tried is meleeing them, but if you want, I don't like. It's up to you if you want to go into melee combat. Well, I mean, you're already in melee combat, so. uh... I can get bonuses. You can get bonuses as well. Hmm. Did I mean, we shoot them when they were smaller? Yes. You did. I do have a lightning claw. That is one of my signature gear. So You can you can try using it. It's an energy. They do a weapon. lot of damage in melee, let's so watch out for that. Yeah, I'm not confident in my melee ability, so You have dodge and you have a parry. Uh well actually wait, no, do you? No, you don't. You only have one reaction. Unless yeah. you have a talent code step aside, which gives you another dodge. No, I know I don't have, have that. Steel. I don't have balls of steel. Ah, uh, shame. I mean, uh, then and you should probably go back. Yeah, I mean, my weapon skill is 41, whereas my ballistic skill is 55. This character is uh, not built for weapon skill. I mean, any other enemy, I would, I would be in there. Well, you know, I'm gonna make a fellowship roll to see if uh, minus sixty. Minus sixty. Holy shit! All right, I'm gonna make a fellowship roll to see if I decide. Okay, I want to go in and uh, help Karn off. Can you even roll above? No, you no. <laughs> you, you can't even succeed. I see. All right, the GM has spoken. Your guy's intelligence says this is dumb, but your your urge to help them would be like, no, you're so you're that's what you're conflicted on, even as a player. So that's why minus sixty. Karnov, get out of there! You can't take them. <laughs> I I can take them. All right, and uh. Yep, so I'm running. Yeah, just run back. So, let's see. Would that be a charge or a run? Probably a run. Uh, a run. Charge is if you attack. So my run is up to 42 meters. I could really book it out of here. I mean... I don't think you need to go that far, but up to you. Well, I mean, I am ranged, and I could feasibly hit them from that far. So, I think Up that is what I sure. will do. Sure. So, 42 meters is going to be back here. So, I'm kind of around this little corner here, and I'm watching. Okay. And that's my turn. For now. You just Eric came ladies. back. Air ladies, your go. Oh, perfect timing. Yes. Uh, oh, there's a bunch of things there, huh? 
So we can you can either um, like YOLO and AOE everything, or you can delay your turn and let me escape. Up to you. Uh, you're immediately after me. Yes. Yeah. Yet, yeah, let me delay my turn for after you, and then I'll AOE everything. All right. So let me do uh, acrobatics. Okay, so oh. I can do a disengage action as a half action. Okay. Mm. Which means I can use my. You wouldn't take any. Yeah, you wouldn't take any attacks or opportunity to disengage, right? So yes. Okay. Oh, no, I'm gonna be making a half move. Let's see. My half move is. You have a jetpack, right? Ooh. Actually, hold on. Actually, wait. Wait, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. This is a prime opportunity to test one of my... Okay, wait, no. Hold on. I have, on my jump pack, an ability to stun everything around me with a sonic boom wave. Ooh. Which I have not used at all because I have not ha had an opportunity to do so. Okay, go for it. The, 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 the enemies must use a toughness test. Wait. Okay, so um, ignore the acrobatics roll. Uh, because as you said previously, the Sonic Boom required my full action to do. Uh, so, uh, I'm gonna be using that. So, everyone around me needs to make a toughness test with a minus 10. Oh, minus 10? Okay. Yeah, uh, let's see. God damn. 10 meters. Alright, man. The one is done yeah. the fuck out by you doing that. In fact, it's you see its eyes dim and fall to the ground into a puddle. Oh. As you do that. Can I spend my fate points to reroll one of their toughness rolls? Sure. I'm gonna make the, the first one reroll its toughness. That's 7.1. Oh, not you quite. You might have right. 75 toughness, so that's a hard uh, roll to get done. Oh, wait, you no, got lucky. No, it does oh, not, yeah. It does not. Okay. Yada, yada. Because that would be uh, 65, and uh, the, the, 65 is off. Do they have to beat your. What do they have to beat? They no, just have they, to just have, they, just, they just made a roll. It's okay. So basically, only one of them is uh, out of the fight. The rest are still operational. Okay. Mm. And we move it too. Fuck. I think I should have probably run. I, but I needed to test this thing. Uh, God damn it. I think I can take the. To be fair, damage. you have three parries, right? I have two parries. I have three actions in total. Uh, reactions in total. Yeah. Okay. Right well, one's knocked out, so you won't die a horrible, horrible death. Yes. At least you have a chance to block all their hits now. Yes. Okay. Uh, Eric Fadis, go. Okay. <clears throat> well, I guess I'm not going to throw a, a big murder ball. So instead, I will do Machine Curse. I could just... Because I think these guys are in robot suits, so... It'll hopefully freeze them in motion. You did see oh, one turn into just... a puddle. You just see, yeah, you saw one come to a model, so you know they're, they're machines of some sort. Yeah, that logic tracks. Um, mm -hmm. So I will do Machine Curse, and instead of targeting one, I'm going to target the other th three, because there's only three left now. Copy that. Um, unfortunately, when I do this, it only lasts for one round instead of ten. Uh, but... I also still have to cast it. Okay. Yeah, by the way, the the one that got stunned, he's stunned for one round. <clears throat> Copy that. And I'll basically be stunning the others for one right. round. So they... Yeah, as you do that, they kind of look at you and their eyes glow red. 
Cool, so it did nothing. Got it. Oh, they, they, they stopped moving. Oh, okay, good. They, they glowed red and looked at you as you did that. So you see them kind of like freeze in motion. Taunt oh. successful. Nice. All right. Very yep, good. but now they are stunned until my next turn. Yeah, same same for me. Stunned for Sargo. Wait, you're stunned too? Oh, uh, no, no, no. The guy, the eye stun the, is going to be the. There's, oh yeah. There's one, yeah. Yeah, there's one in a puddle, and there's three glowing red eyes, the claws out, staring at uh, a librarian there. All right. It's time for the moth. Yeah, I'm just trying to remember where this is. We had a power mole, from what I remember. So which way are you trying to go, moth? Uh, I'm going to use one of my abilities, but I don't remember which one it is, so I'm looking it up. I mean, let me do the one that's the puddle. Just keep things moving. I will delay my turn until uh, rookie goes. Rookie go. Or should I do that? Because I'm. Mm, it's up to you. I'm be rebuffing everybody, so. Okay, then we'll wait until you find out what it is. Is it not in your character sheet under special abilities? Uh, it's not fully listed because they're very long. Because oh. I don't remember which one does which. It's the one that, it's the agility boost one I'm doing, but I don't remember where it is. Or what it's called. Hey, what else do you remember? That, that'd be under a the Dark Heresy book, right? Uh... No, it's in the Faith and Fury Blood of Martyrs book. Oh, okay. I'm okay. looking through all the stuff, but... I think of it... Or exactly what it did? I believe it gave us unnatural agility. Ah, here it goes. The passion gives you a natural agility times two. Okay. Uh, you can react attacks with blinding speed to get plus ten to dodge and parry tests. And you get two dice rolls, and you can choose the highest one determining initiative. That last the whole session? Uh, yep. Okay, cool. Everyone has that now, I imagine? You just use it? Yeah. Hey, right, cool. Uh, what else are you doing? Probably falling back. Okay. Are you going deeper into the facility, or are you going out the front door? See, now that's a good question. That's why I asked Rookie, and his response was, deeper into the facility. I don't remember responding to that, but I'm sure it would have been. You meant. physically responded that way because you're down here. Oh, you're yeah, that is deeper in the facility. You are physically responding. You're going the opposite direction they are, so you're going deeper into the facility. Got it. Yeah, I can say block the entrance coming in. I, I see now. Yeah, I was, I was dumb. I thought this hallway was the other hallway we were in, so I guess deeper in we go. I mean, we can always... We have a full turn. And your movement speed is now boosted. We can get out. True. Up to you. You guys, you guys have decisions to make. Because you can tell Rookie, Rookie, you're the wrong way. Right. I say we get out of the facility. I think we're all just going to encounter more of these things. Yeah, you're probably right. You I concur, Brizora. Okay, then out we go. 
What's the range of passion by the way? Uh, it should be all allies. I think. Range. Let me check. The faithful and a number of his allies, up to fellowship bonus, are gifted with that, so I can buff a bunch of people. It I doesn't see. have a range. I see. My fellowship bonus is like plus five, so I could get a whole six people. Is it Rookie's turn? It's happy, yeah. Okay, yeah, Rookie, go. Alright. I, I I don't know if you want... I don't, okay, you did move him off, alright. Seeing... Oh, jeez, I could go a lot further. Damn. Seeing Blazora dart the other way around the corner, and realizing that I've run the wrong way, I am going to advance back up towards the angry red puddle boys. And, uh, let's see, I'm pretty sure I can do a full move? Can, or is it only a half move where I can shoot at them? Half move, you can uh, do an action afterwards. Alright, let's see how far half move is. Oh, that's like nothing. Yeah. Uh, I'm not gonna attack this turn then. I'm gonna do. Did you? Did you apply? Did you apply a natural agility? A natural like agility. Have, Let's see. It's basically doubled right now for you, your movement. Oh, is that because of? Uh, what I just action. did. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Make sure to set your movement miscellaneous to two. By the way, so it actually applies the bonus. Oh, is that how that works? Well, it doesn't double it. Yeah, you just need to put the same number, like who it's your bonuses in agility. I mean, what is my bonus in agility right now? Is it just two? Uh, what's your agility? My agility is 60. So, six. At, at a, and you have one from your power armor naturally, so it's gonna be seven. Total. Oh, is that how that works? Uh, you had one uh, naturally, yes. So in it's the miscellaneous like... section, you should. Yeah. No, because it ju just adds like more increments, just like plus one, plus two, whatever. You actually need to. So. Put the, the, the amount. I could. Actually, run. Let's see, forty plus. I mean, if we need to put in our actual agility bonus there, along with the other one, I think that might be a little too much. Right. So, uh, rookie, I can. I'll be, yeah, before you go, go ahead and do. Jesus, sixty movement. That's insane. Am I gonna have yeah. to do another intelligence check? <laughs> Not an intelligence check. Uh, I'm trying to think. Uh, beat that number. On tech use. Yeah. All right. Beat a negative eight. That's gonna be real easy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Negative two. <laughs> you beat it technically. I did. did he, uh, did he or didn't he? Because he rolled a ninety-eight. Yeah. True. Fate point it. I'm not gonna fate point it unless I know I'll that give you I a have fate to. Point. Right. So you feel your armor get extremely heavy all of a sudden. Uh. Okay. I'm fate pointing that. <laughs> 
And okay. that should be a plus 10 now. Yep. Okay, there. 58, but still success at least. Yes, you definitely see that your suit... Something's happening to your suit. Your suit's screaming like low power or something like that. What? I'm getting red, yep. red uh, warning lights in my helmet. Yep. All right. So something's draining, draining your suit's power. Something is draining my suit power, brothers. So I'm gonna get up here because that's fifty, and then I can go seventy-eight. So it'll be about another. 30-ish, but I'm going to say 25. So I can go all the way up there, assuming I can just run past these guys. Is that allowed? Yes, they are stunned. They cannot act. Alright, here yep. we go. They stun, boys. So now that and I'm I on... By them, so yeah. So now I'm on the correct side of them. Eric, ladies, go. Alright. I'm going to delay until after. Karnoff? Uh, Karnoff's turn. Okay, hey, Karnoff, go. How far can you move, actually? Uh, I, okay. because I have uh, that mini jetpack, can yep. uh, now move 160 if I run. Yep. Oh, okay. I'm oh, sorry, 120 if I run. Yep, that lateral jetpack of his. All right. I can't have out been doing movement right then. Yeah, he can't literally fly, but he can run faster. Yes. But Lily has an acne jetpack on his back. <laughs> <laughs> like white clay or something. I'm gonna be standing rid of a rookie here because, yeah. All right, that's it in my turn. I mean, you don't, you can't take pot shots at it with any of your I'm range weapons, can you? Oh, he did go. Uh, I did, I did, yeah. I Please mean, go. um, Eric Hayes, go. Alright, so you moved out of the way? Yes. Okay. And now, they're no longer stunned. So I get to run the gauntlet. Hurrah! Alright. It only you'd only trigger I think one if you run in the corner there. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So it's only one attack of opportunity there. Oh yeah. So I, can actually, I can make it here with one regular move. He missed by the, you. By the way, does Puddle Man become solid again? Yeah, yeah. He stands right up. Okay. Yeah, you just see it kind of form back into its form. I noticed and you just little... see them all with red eyes locked on to Heracleides as he darts past him with his acne rocket. <laughs> <laughs> I technically get to hear them. Yeah. 120 movement. Right. Oh, Wiley Coyote over here. Yeah, and it's their turn. Eight. Well, Resort is unnatural agility, double my agility. So that doubled my movement, and then my backpack doubles that movement. It's like it's gonna be a triple your movement in total. Double it and give it to the next guy times two. It's like so how a natural toughness works for, like, or other natural bonuses work. It's like if you have say a seven agility bonus and you get double that from the backpack, so you have fourteen. Well, the backpack the isn't pack. increasing my agility bonus. It just says it literally doubles my movement. Yeah, it, it acts as the double, like the natural agility to uh, in the rules, essentially. Mm -hmm. no. uh, ah, okay, I see how the miscellaneous thing works now again. Yeah, Holy crap, the, Eric Hayes is like, you are gone. Uh, let's see. I should have gone a lot further, too. Let's see. That's as far as they could run. But are since you are... Past me? Uh no. Good. They're they're gonna come right at you and rookie. Very good. All right. If it moves past, actually no, it doesn't. Does In it, that it, case, does I it technically be... move past me? I should have been down here. 
Yeah, they would go up. Well, if it only around. triples, then I should actually be here because that's only 90 movements out of 120. So they'd go up and around you to get to him. So like two engage you, and the the other two uh, would go up and around to flank. All right, all right. Let's see what they can do. Okay, and then rookie, here's yours. And then five one, attacks. Two, What's that? Should only be four attacks. Or one oh, misses. Three, three, oh, what? four, five. Oh, one, yeah, yeah, okay, one misses. So then uh, ignore ignore the. Uh... What? Huh? <laughs> okay, I see how it is. Okay, I have oh a challenge. Oh my god, 98, 989. Uh, I'm gonna I'll be re re rolling the first. Well, hold on, wait, yeah. hold on. Uh, I'm gonna be re rolling my first attack with a talent, Blade Master, which allows me to re roll an attack roll. Uh, so, and the second one. I'm willing to spend my fate point for now. Uh, I have five. You can have one. Sure. You know what? Sure. I'll take yours. Fine. Yeah, ignore the last 82, because one of them missed completely. I miscounted. Alright. So, I parry your attacks, and that means... Um, hit. Oh, you're yeah. hitting them with your weapon? And another hit. Yes. Hey, as your weapon strikes them, go ahead and do a strength check. Minus 30. Hold on, let me just quickly check stuff. <clears throat> uh -oh. One second. Yeah, okay. Uh, minus 30. Hey, your weapon hits and bounces off, and you struggle to get to hold that weapon on your hand. Oh, so, oh my. Okay, I see. What the? Uh, what? Kind of like unexpectedly just like like rubber, I presume, right? Kind of like bounces back. Or you, how you does see it work? A, you see a blue energy shield on its, on its uh, entire skin as you impact. Kind of like, you know, a Spartan, right? Kind of like that kind of shield. You see just a giant... Yeah. Hmm. Oh, boy. Right. Can I... Uh, so, this is this, this happened up to my first, like, parry, mm -hmm. right? Um, first one, so you don't have to do the second one. Can I do, with my second parry, can I, instead of, like, hitting in full force, going, like, slowly? Oh, you're thinking it's like a dune? Go for it. Yes. Uh, so, like, my second attack already succeeded, uh, the 5 All right, four. so, you do another strength check, minus 30. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Would you like me to give you one of my fate points? I mean, I have two left. I, I, can, okay. I can do it. Yeah. Uh, okay, there you go. Yeah, you definitely struggle to hold on to this. And I'm assuming so you're looking at your weapon as you're hitting these things, because your weapon's starting to glow. I, I, I am looking at my weapon, yes. Yeah, it's starting to heat up. Oh. <sighs> Alright. Rookie, you're, you need to dodge. I do. That's right. I need to dodge. And I dodge. Yep. Can, can There's only you... one. One of them missed. And I'll be okay. the one that... The, yeah. Uh, the other two attacked him. And then one of them just... You're dodging out of combat, right? Yes. Okay. Now that I know that that's a thing that can happen. Yeah. I'm just going to dodge yeah, back I, I this just way. Keep, keep dodging. Duck, duck. Yeah, you're, you're, you're dark soulsing it, man. <laughs> Ah, okay. Dark Souls. For sorry, go. Dark Souls. Dang uh, Souls. I radio had to tell the uh, team to evacuate the, um, the, uh, uh You hear the... static. Well, shit. Let's hope they're not all dead. 
Well, I mean, your comms, you can tell it's not working as you're trying to. I mean, you can't even. Like, last We're session. We're assuming these are the only ones we found, though, so they could be dead. Last session, I got static once that door flung open. You guys can communicate with each other. Yeah. So you guys have been. Any communication you guys have been doing has probably been verbal. So, yep. he's next to each other. Okay. Uh, did you already move, Moss? That was 40, I guess. Where's the... Where did we come in at? The north or the south one? Uh, the south one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But you're going the right way, Moth. Uh, in fact, you actually do see guardsmen uh, carrying those supplies and all that. You guys ordered them to. Ordered them to. So. Back off to the ship. So. As you come in the hangar, you see... Okay, so as you come in the hangar, you definitely see your guys' dropship. <sighs> okay, go. Alright. Uh, I'm going to use... All... What's it called? All 78 points of my run to get the hell out of here. It's it's 15. Are you in melee? No, he's not. No, no, 30. he dodged out of it. He dark souls out of it. Nice. Uh, it's like 78. It's 30. So that's about 50. You know you could so uh, there. Like right click and then left click, left click, and it gives you the exact movement. If, I keep if forgetting you left about click that. and hold and then right click, it'll give you a movement for it. So. I am running. Okay, there The go. big problem is the map is so big, I have to like pan the screen to move away. So I keep having a small movement in. I will delay again until after Karnoff. Okay, Karnoff, go. Acrobatics roll. From me. I can move. Wait, can you do your jump pack stun again? Or is that only a one shot thing? I can do it again. Uh, I don't think I would. They have want a to. toughness of 75, so it's going to be real hard to get at the uh, they, do have a minus yeah. six, they do get minus 10 on their test, but it's also. It's not really effective at the moment. It doesn't serve any purpose. Yeah, I got it. Off. Yeah, do something for me real quick. Yes? Go ahead, beat that. Tech use. Yep. You get higher than a 78. Okay. That's technically higher than a 78. Yeah. Be sure your suit definitely get a little heavy. Does it impact on me in any way? No, but you definitely know that something's draining your power. I see. My movement. Oh, my movement. Oh, my movement. That's going to be a half move, and I'm going to do another half action to half move right next to Ericlades. Okay. And then Ericlades, go. By the way, are you guys pushing buttons, closing doors on the way out, I imagine? Uh, I was just running. I closed and sealed and welded every door behind me. <laughs> no, but I am having the guardsmen retreat fall back into the ship, we're, we're leaving, get the ship started, uh, we're going. Fair enough. Do you have any extra movement you can do? Because I'm going to throw a spell down and then move. Uh, as right far now? as you got. Let yeah, from your, from your last turn, could you have moved further? I could have, if I used my burst of speed, yes. Uh, it's a solo mode ability. Uh, if he's suggesting you use it, I imagine use it. Well, okay. it is... I'm going to be I'm going to be moving uh, as, as soon as I throw a thing. Down. Hang on, it is solo mode. Are we in solo mode right now, or are we in squad I could, mode? You I could can break off solo into solo yeah. mode at any point. Ah, okay, got it. Okay, then one moment, please. Uh, it's going to be this. It's going to be. Who oh boy? Uh...
I could probably go my move past you or something like that, like about here, something. Yeah, there you go. Sure. I'm okay. gonna grab some coffee. I'll be right back. Skip my turn if you need to. I'm gonna throw. To basically fill out this area here uh, with uh, my guard on thing. Oh, the sharks? Yeah, yeah, the uh, whatever it is. Street sharks. Yeah, street, street sharks. sharks. Yeah, just a bunch of sharks on skates come up and start mm -hmm. doing game wars against other sharks. Yep. Uh, yeah, that's, that's the power. They just beat up anybody that gets into their street. All right. All right. Is that your turn? Uh, yeah. Well, first I got to cast it. Uh, and it's not my turn. I will be able to move afterwards. Okay. I succeeded with a passion. <laughs> um, and then I get to move. Uh, only a half move though. Fifteen. That's fine. Uh, that should be D here. How much damage will this thing deal? Uh, that's 10v10. Ten. 10d10. 10. 10d10. 10. 10 48 Aww. average. That's that's the first one. Oh, hell yeah. It happens <laughs> again, so whenever they move into it, they'll then get hit again. Or hit by is, it. Is that, uh, yeah. is that the end of your turn? Yeah, so now, now it's the end of my turn. So now once they move into it, I can roll another damage roll. Bam, that's what hits them. Okay. Yeah. The 75 damage one hits them. So, oh man, they can get right on top of you. Look at that. That doesn't okay. proc Righteous Fury, uh, does it? No. Okay. No, the first one would. They're just affected by the spell again on the next turn. Of the psychic power again at the, the next bit. God damn. And that presumably hey. doesn't hurt them one bit. Uh, I the 75 damage hurts them a little bit. The 75... Bitch, I uh, pumped 58 into the hold up. six times in one hit. That's 75 in one hit? Okay. Yeah, but if that can't get over their armor... I thought it ignores their, their armor. No, this doesn't ignore anything. Okay, alright. Yeah, it does. It, it, it but does. it is 75 damage per hit against them. Yep. So Whereas the, like 51 would have been 51 in one hit. So if its penetration or stuff didn't get through, the 75 might. Yeah. Uh, it's not about the damage. It's about the type of damage. You're doing, dealing psychic damage. It is also psychic yeah. damage, yeah. Yeah. Now you see that their eyes are glaring red at you as they come around the corner. Uh, you don't see any visible signs of damage. Uh, so. Concerning. Damn. Yeah, and they're actually going to hang back this time. Huh? And they're going to... Are we merging again? No. No. And this is all against you, Eric, ladies. Naturally. You do have a plus 20 from me. Stop. And I do have two dodges. Plus my shield. My iron halo. Yep. I think you can just tank that, to be honest. I'm still going to try and dodge them a couple of times. You have the power field as well. I, I know, but I'm still going to try and dodge a couple of times. So, what, all four hit? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. All right, dodge the first two. And then I got my power field uh, to try and just negate the next two damage. That one does. And so does that one. Good. Brother Ericlades remains unscathed. Right. And... Go ahead and well, let's see. Mm. 
beat those two numbers. Beat those two numbers what? The tech use. He took no damage for sure. Yeah. Go ahead. Well, I'm not going to beat those. I have to roll eight or, uh, greater than an 85. <laughs> All right. Better than an 84 and better than a 64. Is that what you're saying? Yep. Okay. Well, you have to, you have to roll tech use, and your number has to be higher than that. Yeah. Which it looks no. like it is. Or lower, lower in this game system, lower. So you beat the first one. I'll fate reroll that. Okay. There we go. Well, your suit is definitely. Your suit's power is diminishing a little bit. You can tell that whatever they're doing is messing with your suit. Uh, but no damage is visibly done to you. And no no effect on your abilities. Sweet. Just information. Uh, but sorry, go. This is actually perfect. We can all get out Alrighty. successfully. Ah, yes. Maybe. Apparently. Never mind, I don't have that one. Are you uh, are you back at the ship yet, Moth? I will be in this turn if I move, yeah. Which is probably what I'm gonna do. Are you ordering them to turn the ship on? Oh yeah, as soon as I ran into the door I was like, get the ship get the ship started, we're leaving. So I'm having everybody file on board. I'm not on the move. Rookie, go. All right. I am getting the hell out of here. I continue my run. And hold up. All right. Oh, God. Oh. Did they? <laughs> they uh, crit failed that. <laughs> Yeah, they did, didn't they? Yeah. You just hear an explosion on the <laughs> other side of the hallway. Does it sound like an explosion, or does it sound like, uh... It sounds like a big explosion of some sort. On the huh. other side of that... On the other side of the hallway, to, off to your guys' right. Uh... Before I run off, I, uh... Look back over my shoulder to see what the fuck that was. You don't see anything, but you definitely hear a giant explosion, and you're pretty sure it's in the next hallway over. <laughs> uh, okay. I get the fuck out. Okay. Well, that's so, for that guy. 30. And then I'm going this way, right? But a large one of the robots just Kool-Aid mans through the wall. <laughs> it's like you can almost read what these guys can do. That's hilarious. It's almost as if it, they did that the last time. Mm, they did not, actually. They've not done that. As far as I, th I, thought, I thought they appeared out of the wall, didn't they? No. no that was, uh, door, that, they were just right there. That was the demons, the mechanical demons that we fought earlier. Yeah, right yeah. Ah, uh, whatever. I guess. Some of the earlier missions. Alright. Similar goo creatures. That is my turn. Oh, the demons? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Those, the warp Yeah, the warp entity, that was the ship itself coming at you and morphing into things. Yes. <laughs> I love how paranoid you guys are, though. Uh, okay, Eric, ladies, go. Sweet. I am going to uh, do a Curse of the Machine Spirit again. Okay. Succeeded. Not a double. All right. Uh, so they are all stunned. And they're all looking at you with brilliant red eyes. Yep, that's fine. Get out. It would be hilarious is if when we stun them, their shields go down and we can actually hit them. And we just haven't been doing it. Run off. That would be hilarious. 
Well, we'll find out once you, we never you... have to fight these again. Ah. Uh, oh, we're gonna fight them again. This is the enemy for the rest. I don't know. Of the game. If we're gonna... <laughs> uh, no, you don't know that, but they are just standing there menacingly. Turning. Okay. Um. I have two options here. Either I can go and charge at them, test out our theory, or I can pick you up and move you out of the danger because we need to get as far away as possible from them. I say pick them up and move them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's one of the options. Uh, I'm basically going to be taking my turn stunning them every time. That way they can't move forward. So the next turn you move me, I should still be in range to stun them at least one more turn. And then we can what's, just what's, what's your range on that? That's what I'm checking right now. So I can move pretty far. Yeah, you'll be slowed down to me. Yeah. Uh, I gotta look this up. All right, hold on. It's a pretty far distance, if I remember correctly. Oh, my range is uh, 20 meters per 10, so 200 meters is my range. Okay. That's if I don't push. And you need to be in a line of sight. I need line of sight, basically. Yeah. So if you take me down to the intersection of the hall. Yeah, I can do that. I can still see them and stun them again my next turn. And so strength check. But you're uh, using your jetpack, right? You're holding on to them and using your jetpack flying? I'm going to be using my jump pack to do that, yes. Uh, strength checks. Uh, any bonuses, modifiers, penalties? Minus 20. He is a big boy. Not big enough. Yep. I pick him up. And... Yeah, we can just move you to the intersection over here. So you don't want to stay and fight no more? <laughs> not, not yet. Okay. And that's gonna be the end turn. Okay, Jerry Bax is go. Whoa, what the okay. fuck? Whoa, fuck the what? Yep, you just see uh, those more figures not coming out of the wall per se, but coming out of ventilation and other cracks into the wall from the wall. Don't worry, I can stun them too. This was sus. There's way too many of them. Damn. We don't have the eject button, we can't do anything about it. And immediately upon coming. You guys have to beat these or whoever's in range. What's the range? Uh, it's going to be 100 meters from each one. Got one more. Good God. Yeah. Now I see why you've been hitting, getting those. Everyone with power, I mean, Ma, you have power suit, right? Yeah, but I'm not in range. Okay, cool. And neither is so the ship. We need to be four of those tech uses. Uh, Each single one of them. Yep, as they cross over. All right. Did you fail to any one of those? Not the first one. Uh, I'm looking at the others. The third one and the fifth, one, the fourth one. First and fourth one. So I'll oh, use my last two fate points to reroll those, I guess. I can give you a fate point or two. Yeah, but let me reroll them. Oh, that's just as bad. Well, there's no. Oh, you know what? That will be for the last one, and then I'll do it again because there's a good chance I can be at a forty-nine. 
There's not a good chance I can beat an eight. Oh my god, yeah. really? <laughs> okay. All right, I failed two. Save your fate points. So your suit just shuts down. Uh, you have to do strength checks to move now. Okay. All right. Well, no, I'm that's gonna fine. Make is that yeah. just Eric Clades, or is that all of us uh, in Whoever else was in range. Oh, Jester, shit. That's me as well. Yep. Uh, and Culper, I think. Yep. We are superhumans, though. So yep. Our... Yeah. Yeah. So you get a fate reroll that 5 and then a negative 1.2. Uh, well, you negative passed 1. the negative 1.2. Two. Yeah, so I only oh. need to roll one. Um, yeah, yeah, because there's a 2.2 that succeeded. So. Uh, Prisora, can I have one of your fate points? Uh, sure, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna we'll, we'll be down to three. There you go. Yeah. And so Velo passed, 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 and I passed every single one of them. Okay. Velo needs to reroll one, I think. Mm, no, he still succeeds as well. Yeah, he succeeds as well. It's, it's ah. yep, than the yep. One. It's a negative yeah. four, not a four. So I, I got good. that. So Eric Clades is lights out right now. His suit is. Yep. <laughs> I just want you to know, we're carrying nuclear reactors around on our back. Yes, I'm aware. Yeah, Ooh. I'm aware too. But everyone else's suit. Yeah, everyone else's. Your power dipped yet again. No. And I just want you to know, it has Sorry, been no. an honor serving with you. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> uh, so we came from here, right? From the bottom right. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm standing on the uh, right. Here is where we're going. Okay, here. here okay. Uh, rookie, where are you going, man? Did he go north? He did. Did I oh. go north? <laughs> you rookie. did. Oh, I had to go down. Oh, what rookie. the fuck? Oh, rookie. Our scout is uh, not so great with directions. <laughs> I should have done a right. navigation roll, but I uh, assume... Oh, it was my other left. It's all good. <laughs> Let's hope you can outrun these guys. Uh, so what should I do? Like, fellowship roll to get all of our guys on board, or what? All the crewmen, all the guardsmen went aboard. I'm assuming you were yelling at them, get to the damn ship the whole yeah, way. As soon as, I, as soon as I came into the room, the entire way, I was like, get on the ship, get on the ship, get on the ship, we're leaving. Yep. Yeah. So they're all aboard the vessel. They uh, didn't recover any I of the need... artifacts, did they? The guardsmen? I guess I'll man the gun. They recovered the weapons you initially uh, got initially. Got it. I just I figured they might have the dropped weapon. everything to run for their lives. Okay. Uh, Virlo, go. Alright. Uh, I am once again bolting the hell out of here. And I don't mean a bolter. <laughs> so uh, that's that's 40. And where's the 38? 38 is right there. So here that's we go. That's low movement. Are you sure that's right? 70, uh, 78 movement right now. All right. Oh, run. right. You don't have a jetpack. Sorry. Right. You Eric really Lays. need to get a jetpack. Yeah, Eric Lays, yo. You have a jetpack so isn't stealthy for a Sweet. scout. Uh, despite my lack of power, I'm going to stun strength. all of them. Yeah, strike tank, lift your arm up to stun them or wherever. I don't, you just I don't gotta really move. I just gotta look at them. Oh, okay. Oh, cool. ah. Yeah. My so suit doesn't need we don't to gotta move. On. Are you standing only these guys? Or I don't need a well? weapon to kill you. <laughs> yeah. Are you standing these guys or those as well? Yeah, everyone. Everyone. Okay. All of them. I can affect 10 targets. Nice. Okay. And I can affect 14 if I push it, but I don't want to push it. So they're stunned for another round. Uh, but then that's my turn. All right. Seeing as the situation is somewhat dire, not, not too much. Uh, another strength check to pick him up. Oh my fucking god. You are very heavy. Would you like a fate point? It's okay, I have one. 
there you go. Like I heave oh. and ho and like huh, and pick him up. Yeah, he's also semi dead weight now, so minus ten. On, but you got you got it. Yeah, I'm only like half of a ton, so it's fine. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's only like a little more dead weight. No, but normal. like it. No, but it's the same kind of. It doesn't really change. Have the you ever lifted up, up? Have you ever lifted up a person unconscious and a person that's conscious? Two different things. One is assisting. One is dead weight. Well, for strength, we have a uh, once per session we can do a feat of strength. Yeah, yeah, you're good. Yes. You still pass. I was just gonna add yeah. minus ten, so you still passed. Yes, we do. All right. So, with all that in mind, do I get any penalties to my movement? No. Very good. If you're a jetpack, is jetpack you sure only, about that? It doesn't. It doesn't care. And he's <laughs> bypasses the road that way to the ship. Yeah, Come I'm on, at the Rookie, ship. What the fuck are you doing? I'm at the he ship. Just flies by. <laughs> Carry somebody else. Yeah. Okay. Uh, is everyone at the ship now? Rookie is not. Yeah, I still need one more turn to get the fuck out of there. Hey, and hold on, let's see. Are you within their death range? What? Uh, yes. Yeah, but aren't they, they stunned? Are. They are. They are. They are stunned to do any actions. This is just a passive. Uh, okay. I'm imagining it's their power field nullification. So I'm making tech use checks. Yep. First one passed, second one passed. Third one passed. Fourth one passed. Thank goodness. Alright. Otherwise you would have been like dead weight doing strike checks to move. Yeah, thank the Emperor. Alright. So this ship right here is our ship? Yep. All right. Uh, I am running. I'm back on the ship now. Excellent. Shut the I door tell, behind uh, us. Get us out I, of here. I tell the pilot to take off, and I start firing the main cannon right at the door. Okay, cool. Hopefully I can collapse the entrance to give Tobias a bit okay. more time. So you guys are back in space, I imagine. Yep, we're going straight to the ship. Captain tells you those vessels have since left. Oh, good. Um, he does inform you that they have gotten uh, communication, some something from somewhere encrypted. It seems to be inquisitorial. Well, why couldn't we have gotten that before we went down to the planet? Uh. <laughs> How dare you for not speeding up time, Captain, you son uh, of a bitch. No. If you advanced 90 years in the future, couldn't you have gone just five more minutes? Uh, no, he kind of bewildered. <laughs> like, no, no. Uh, we weren't serious. You guys are also stealth, so. It's from the Inquisitor you guys initially were trying to reach contact with. He's giving you guys his coordinates. He tells you it's on a broad broad spectrum, so he's beaming this encrypted signal out in all directions. So, right, so those other ships probably got the signal too and are now there. Uh, well, the captain's telling you that... that the, the origin of that is from the that planet's surface. Uh, looks like yeah. the coordinates are somewhere else. The origin of the of of the encrypted call is from the planet down below, but the coordinates is on another planet in the system. Yeah, and the ships that were in orbit here probably went to go to that other planet, right? I would imagine a broad spectrum message they would have gotten it as well. Unless yep. they can't decrypt it. Mm. Yeah. Really? So. Those things that could block melt the shots couldn't decrypt a simple message? Are you sure? <laughs> Who knows? We won't until we go to that planet. 
Yeah, I guess take us there, keep us stealthed. Okay. <clears throat> yep, I don't know for your stealth checks on the ship. Okay. You guys get to the other planet in the system just fine. Um the captain tells well, you're, you you're not gonna throw us ninety years into the future again. Why would you no, now we're eighty five years in the past? No no no. You're literally <laughs> in the system. You can literally use you don't have to use warp drive to get to where you need to go. It just it takes ta us three days. Yeah, it takes you a couple days, you get there, you get to the other planet, the coordinates above. Um You do see uh, what appears to be an Imperial fleet of some sort. Of some sort? Of some sort. Mm. That's what the captain's telling you. Run all the science scans. <laughs> but passively, so they don't know we're here. Yes, yes. Can we tell what they are, or...? They're definitely Imperial vessels. Uh, smaller craft. Uh, they seem to be Inquisitor ships. He's telling you. Alrighty, then. And he says he only can see them visually. He doesn't see them on sensors. He's visually pointing at them. And scoping them out and doing all the other things he can do to to see them within visual range. So we must be right next to them then, if we're that close to see them in space. Yeah, right. No, you guys have the telescopic stuff, and yeah, I guess just... I'll take a peek and see if I can identify some. Yeah, my fancy new warship. I don't know what those are. You sure those are Imperial ships? Yeah. It tells you definitely Imperial Insignia and everything. And Imperial Insignia. And he describes it to you. Um, you're, you're fairly certain it's the Inquisitor that you've been trying to link up with. Alrighty then. I guess. Octavius Cornelius. Perhaps in the narrowband communication. I don't know, to the biggest ship. <laughs> Okay. Whichever one, whichever one looks the most inquisitorial. Oh, okay. Probably the one with the most eye inquisitorial symbols on it. Yeah, yeah. There, he says there's about uh, 16 ships out there. Uh, but yeah, he says one that could be a flagship of some sort. So he hails that in encrypted uh, inquisitorial channels. And uh, you hear on the other side. Let's see. That's what you hear, Moth. You're late. What took you so long, Brazora? Oh, you know, standard warp shenanigans. <laughs> Thank you. Mini Mouse. Unnecessary. Well, like if you voice voiced your own character... What am I, a voice actor? You are now. I refuse. Oh, okay. I understand. And that's the Inquisitor saying that, not me saying that to you out of character. <laughs> Don't worry, I understand. <laughs> <laughs> we detected activity at our old HQ. Figured it was your kill team we called for 90 years ago. Took a big risk for an assumption. Are you telling me assumed? No. Okay. Well, I mean, figured is also assuming. 
Uh, okay. Unless... He says that, yeah, it, he says that, like, um, nonchalantly. Not, not like, oh, yeah, I figured, like, but more like, yeah, pretty sure it's you guys. Yeah, figured in the traditional sense of the word where you figure it out, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. So. Yeah. He's not a dummy, in other right. words. I imagine you had the displeasure of being introduced to the Saravax forces in the system. You hear Rookie say under his breath, Guys, what's a Saravax? Well, you wouldn't hear any of this. This is an encrypted channel. So it's just <laughs> thrown at you. So. I know, I'm just messing just around. Just that out loud. Yeah. <laughs> Come aboard my vessel for a briefing. We have much to discuss. So you telling everyone else, Moth? You should remain as you are, cloaked. Cervax are on the hunt. Already I let everybody know what's going on. Okay. Take you some time, you guys get over there. Uh Inquisitor Octavius summons you to his uh his uh captain's quarters. You and your command structure. His humble abode. Yeah, he tells you, yeah, you and your command structure of your ship, and the kill team. Because he summoned you guys, so... <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Me, ship's captain, probably first officer of the ship. Yep. Probably second officer of the ship. Uh, yell mug. Good. Can I imagine you're the captain of this little raid? I thought Dan was. Dan? Oh, uh, I think no. The whole seniority. Think... Senior, senior officer would be... Lieutenant Yelmug. Dan. Is he? Is da Dan is the surviving member of a watchtower. Yeah, I just said that. Yeah, that doesn't mean he is... He's his... been part of the... He's he's the last original member of the kill team. Right. Yeah, on the ship, at least, yes. Yes. And I, I specifically took... I don't think I took, but... Uh, Attempted to take uh, control of the mission on a surface operation. Yep. And uh, you're now a champion, I think, of the new Watchtower, too. Yeah, I became a champion of the Watchtower, but uh, non surface operations, that does not fall on me. I tell the rest of the kill team. Okay. So the Inquisitor basically hands, hands you a data pad there. Uh, Moth, he said, this is all the information we have on the Cervax. Uh, but I'll, go, I'll give you a brief rundown of what you're encountering. So I'm sure you encounter the Xenos race. Uh, they have advanced technology beyond the Imperium, beyond anything we, we know of, even Eldar and various other forms of Xenos we've encountered. Yikes. <clears throat> From what he gathers... Uh, they've made a deal with that rogue uh, space marines. Uh, he doesn't know what kind of deal, but they're working in tandem together. 
uh, he's been able to contain them to this system. And he tells you through various means. I won't, he won't go into detail, but he tells you through various means he's able to contain the the Cervax. And the Cervax have been desperately hunting him down for the last, you know, 50 years. I imagine hunting him down is the Inquisitor down. Yes. Him okay. specifically. He said he, may, he remained undetected the first 40 years after their first engagement with these things. They, they, they came... A couple of years after they didn't hear from you guys, right? So the the rogue space marine came, attacked their installation. Their weapons were utterly useless. Uh, they fled that particular planet <clears throat> to another installation outpost. He tells you, and then from there they did guerrilla warfare against these guys, gathering intel. So they know some other weaknesses. Uh, he says. Uh, we're going to have to gather some uh, more devices from their outposts to deal with their infantry and shut them down. He, he, he kind of explains they have, they're kind of like a hive network and you need to shut down uh, the cores to disable their shielding. I need, to go, I need to go AFK for five or ten minutes. I'll be back. Yeah, so that's he says that's the best of his knowledge. That's what that's how they've been dealing with these guys, because with, without destroying their central command and control, in in a particular sector, uh, their infantry vehicles and aircraft are impossible to deal with. Dang. And they, yep. And he says they're very uh, very adaptable to our strategies and weapons. So. They've modified a lot of their weaponry to, to uh, least hurt them. Though short-lived. They seem to be... have a production plant somewhere in the system. They're not sure where. They have not been able to locate it or find it. Because no matter how many they've destroyed, more come. Is he broadcasting that to everyone or just Bob? You guys are in the same room as it's, him. It's a data slate he gave us. It's a data slate? Breaking. Yeah, in a briefing. He gave you a data slate with more information. And he'll, yeah. He, yeah, he's literally talking to you guys about, about these things, what they've got in the last 90 years. Uh, they have... The Imperium has one stronghold left uh, in the system. So... And that's what they've been operating out of. In tandem with the fleet. So they only have, from what I gather, only one planet from which these Xenos are produced. He does not know. He's That's contained right. them to the system. That's all he can go into detail with these things. He right. says they're, beyond that is a need-to-know basis. But he's contained them, but he needs to find their source and destroy them. And he says the rogue space marines are working uh, against them and hitting their their installations, taking out their ships, and making converts of other chapters outside the system and bringing them in. So they're bringing in outside help. The rogue space marines. <laughs> That's correct. Through the rogue trader ship, they're using that as cover to bring in reinforcements and supplies and other things to the Cervex. At least that's what he's assuming. He has he doesn't know where they go other than they go to that planet you came from, and they did, <laughs> and that's it. So he hasn't been able to to breach their defenses or get anywhere close to their uh, main fortifications. Yeah. And yeah, he tells you stealth is key. Uh, open engagement, ship to ship, you're going to lose. What you saw uh, uh, via ground forces happens in space as well, but much worse. Well, that yes, begs the question is... why haven't they pressed the attack? Say that again? That begs the question is why haven't they just attacked and finished you guys off? 
Oh, he tells you. I mean, we've we've kept our means to stay alive. Majority, he he, he tells you we've been highly mobile. The outpost we have left is not in, necessarily in the open, but inside of a mountain. Uh, they have not been able to detect that or the fleet. This is all that remains. Gotcha. And they're out of manpower to do any major pushes. They're essentially the, they're essentially the rebellion in the local system. Yeah. So he tells you there's about a division left of uh, guardsmen. So he has maybe uh, ten thousand troops. All in all, their total strength. And they they said they're up from over a billion guardsmen in the area. So or down from so. They used to have quite a big garrison. Is there any Mechanicum left? What are their thoughts and views on this technology? Tells you, he, just, uh, he just tells you, just me. They've destroyed all Mechanicum librarians that they encountered. They seem to especially hate any librarians they've encountered. Yes, I've noticed. He seemed to be able to stop them in their tracks for a brief moment. As far as he's aware, uh, they seem to be weak against uh, Psyker Warp's <clears throat> influence. So, Not be very good. careful. He says, be very careful when dealing with that because they may just target solely you and want you dead and bring everything to bear to kill you. Because he explains in the past that's what they've done. They've summoned whole fleets to deal with librarians. Excellent. So he kind of lays out some some battle plans. He's like, "Okay, since you guys are here now, and I and I have your attention, and I'm sure I do now. Uh, here are a couple installations we can hit that would deal quite a bit of damage and draw their draw their main fleet out." Because he tells you his plan. He wants to basically have a suicide mission to draw out their, their main mothership they have and then try to find the source of where their base is coming from. Like, where, where are they producing these guys? They seem to be coming from everywhere. I pre you have mentioned that the rogue, uh, the rogue space marines are using the rogue trader ship to travel between worlds and to the of X, supplying them somehow. Uh, if we are, if we were able to uh, tail that ship and find out exactly where it's going, we could pr probably pinpoint the uh, the source of, or at least what, some of the sources of their Cerevax production. I presume. Right. Well, he's been unable to actually trail this thing. It's it's using other means to get out of the, outside the system. He's not sure what it's doing. It's going somewhere, not sure where. Every, he can't get close to their like their defenses in the, in the system. He says, he tells you he describes that there was a station above the world. The Servax has since taken it over, converted it to their means. So he's doing something. So I'm they could back. have. Yeah, he tells you they could possibly have a. Some sort of webway gate or some some other means. So that's an option too. We can follow where that's going. Well, our mission was to originally to assassinate him, so maybe yes, we'll keep up that mission. Yes, he says that would still be a primary mission of this. He seems to be a high ranking individual among the, the Cerevax. <laughs> and they modified their weapons and armor. With their technology, it seems. Um, and he says, "My te my uh, my tech priest will modify your guys' weapons so you can at least do something against these the infantry." Alrighty. Because he tells you, "Please teach our tech priests how to do it too." Yes, he says uh, it's going to have to be energy weapons. You can't you know, ballistics or anything else won't won't get through. And you have to modulate. He, he, he kind of describes kind of what the tech priests do. They do something and it makes it makes it work. Uh, it's it's better that he tells you it's better than nothing. Um, 
they're able to destroy their outpost, and once they're like he tells you, once their outposts are destroyed, the those uh, servacs just cease to cease to function. So, Ooh, can just... he can he apply that change to a uh, large scale ship weapon? No. Damn. He he says the the ships they have some sort of they have something else attributed to them. Are you talking about a planetary bombardment? Uh, or... No, we have a huge cannon on this ship. It's a big glass cannon. Oh, and he kind of thinks and ponders. He's like, "Hmm, that does intrigue me. We don't have any any of that anything like that in our arsenal. I'll have my tech priest look into it. In fact, he's gonna do intelligence check there and ponder on that. Yeah, he has nothing on the top of his head. He said, I'll have you speak with my tech priests. Alrighty. And I didn't catch your name. Heraclades, is it? Yes. Yeah, I have a special mission for your kill team. Um, if we're going to get close to your target there. Oh, I should let you know we're also carrying a dreadnought on board. Former Iron Hand Space Marine as well. Yes, he tells with you, with a Volkite Culverin. <laughs> he says we'll have to modify it. Also, be just as useless as you guys were in combat. So, and I'm assuming Yelma, you're you got out of your armor and you're having your tech piece work on powering it, right? No, I've just been manning it up and just uh. <laughs> everywhere. Yeah. Um forgets to pull his helmet off. Oh, I can hear everything now. Oh man. Yeah. What? What did you say? Why can't I see anything? So speak up. It's like you're speaking through a tin can. Right. So they well they well, I've heard of this meeting, they basically inform you the suit's toast. Whatever happened, you fried the entire suit. You'd rather get another one. Oh, great. All of my benefits gone. Yeah, they fried the suit. Whatever it did, it just sucked everything out of this thing. They uh, can't they, just, like, replace the power core and replace all they've, the it, They said it's done other things to the suit. Oh. Whatever it, whatever it did, it, it made the suit basically useless, is what they inform you. Uh... You can you can always ask the Inquisitor tech priest if they know anything. Sure, yeah. So, uh, yeah, they tell you, yeah, it's a, some sort of nullifying field that the Cervex have, and with various enemies, it's it's more dangerous than than the next. Uh, you probably dealt with their very impressive uh, elite forces. They've lost they lost many 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 Space Marines to those guys. They tell you. Why would they have elite forces guarding the entrance to an old facility that nobody's been to in 90 years? Uh, the Inquisitor doesn't know. He didn't even know those forces were honestly there. He just detected the the, the, the battle, basically. Hmm. You don't have elite forces guarding an empty room. Right at the entrance. No one there. Plus, their ships were in orbit. They had a lot of ships in orbit too. Yeah, Maybe they're coming from somewhere over there. I mean, that felt more like a uh, like a cleanup crew. Ninety years in the running. It takes a long time to exterminate an entire planet. Unless you're the Imperium, we can glass it in an instant, but... 
<laughs> I mean, it was one facility. Yeah, it's one facility. It is the yes, main one facility, but their ships in orbit weren't glassing that facility. They were glassing other targets on the planet. I'm saying that those forces in that facility could have been part of a just a unit that's assigned to the planet to eradicate everything else that's there. They're just remnants of the invasion force. Possibly. Yep. Uh, the, probable. Yeah, the Inquisitor says he has not been able to send anyone down there brave enough to go down that area. He says it's just too hot and they don't have the manpower to, to justify sending forces in that area. They lost it long ago because the Servax really wanted that installation. He tells you that they 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 sent their mothership to deal with the uh, the installation itself. So, Oof. yeah, they said it was a month long month long siege. They're able to escape barely. <laughs> the command structure, not. Not the yeah, actual no, I got it. personnel yet. I gotta pee, be right back. TMI. So I lost my booster pack, my multispectral camo, my adamantium weave and melt on my armor. I lost my force hood, my iron halo, my cyber eagle, my integrated staff mounts. I lost a lot of good stuff if uh, my suit can't get power. Yeah, that's what I was saying. It should be repairable if it'll just take a long time, right? Because that's... That, that's almost game over. We can well, ask least... uh, our Dreadnought to help bring it back. At least he has the knowledge to do so. I have the knowledge, but the actual Mechanicus guys are going to have right. to be the ones to modify. He has the skill. Depends on if he has the knowledge. Well, the, the problem is, if you're a Dreadnought, you lose all of your fine motor functions, so I wouldn't be See, able to... I told to... you. I told you. You should have gotten tiny hands. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so... Is that, is that what they call the Dreadnought? Dreadnought McTiny Hands? <laughs> yeah, so the tech priest get back to you, Moth, about modifying your your ship. and says, yeah, we could possibly modify your vessel to... But we'd, it'd be untested. Uh, and it might just... only work for one shot, yeah. Better than nothing. Uh, yeah, then they also tell you that uh, they'd have to... Yeah, the ship could t potentially explode, too, with their modifications. Oh, well, then never mind, because knowing your roles, the ship will explode. <laughs> they say, yeah, they tell you it's ex it's experimental and dangerous. But... Well, think on it more. Okay. See if you can't refine the design any. Uh, they have, have refined the design past 90 years of what they have now. So that's well, they've they've never worked with the ship cannon before. No, they have not. They've worked with smaller vessels. This is what they know. That this is pushing their limits with their knowledge. Uh, but they modified. You guys all have uh, las rifles now. Just regular las rifles. Yep. Can it affect melta weapons? Uh, they they look at that. They look at you. They said it's you're wasting your time. The the shields seem to be impervious to the, these types of weapons. Uh, but most weapons we've they've encountered. They, they, laser weapons seem to be the only thing that can even have any chance of uh, damaging their their nanonite forms. Right. Well, I'm useless then. Yeah. Um. Well, they can give you laser pistols. I am untrained in laser weapons. I can't use them. Okay. I am Which is now weird useless. because they're basically the same thing as a normal rifle. Okay, I, I, can, I can use them. I will be doing 10 damage. Same as everybody else. Oh, uh, double the damage on these weapons. Yeah, these are yeah, these are different than your standard last rifles, but yeah. So, base last rifle times two. But we'll ignore their shielding. The infantry shielding, at least. Or a chance to, I should say. What about their larger, hulkier, dreadnoughtish units? 
or is that their standard infantry? Uh, no. Are you talking about those? They well, they describe the infantry, and the first group you guys encounter that'd be their standard infantry. That's their standard infantry. Cool. That's their standard cool. infantry that you're gonna be encountering hundreds of those guys, hmm. or more. Uh, the other forms you encounter, they said that's their elite forces. At least, at least that's what they deduced. Because those come in small numbers, those disrupts, uh, electronics, um, and, and just like destroy things. So they're like e war, basically, they, what they described to you. Ooh, I still have those relic bolt pistols from way back. Okay. Those like energy bolt pistols? Yeah. I'm going to have for the tech priest see if they can't do anything with those. He looks at it. He's like, I haven't seen this in eons. Um, yeah, they can modify it. Oh, good. Uh, I had two of them. Yeah, they modify it. It takes them a day, but they modify it. The ammunition specifically to go through their shielding. So, and they asked if you guys want uh, suit modifications as well to kind of like not die. Immediately to horribly to the E War. Uh, yeah, yeah, that'd be good. And I also like too. my suit back to working condition. I spent a lot of fates to get that shit. <laughs> yeah. So let me do some rolls. The tech priest is gonna look it over. A lot of fate to just have it immediately removed. Yeah, man, that's. So they're okay, able. I'm to... gonna spend a fate point to reroll that 98. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Mm. So they're they t they tell you they're able to save the suit. It's just gonna take them some time. If if it's that, I mean they they know how dear it is to you, right? It's gonna take them a little over a week or more to bring it back to fun full functionality. Our dreadnought sacrificed his life making this armor. <laughs> That's how he got in the armor in the first place, making yeah. our armor. And with that in mind, they said we'll double our efforts. You guys, you'll have it in three. This is what he tells you. Excellent. And make sure you run it by the dreadnought. And make sure you're not skipping on the details. Did anybody else keep their relic bolt pistols? I have a relic bolt pistol. I, never I didn't think it was energy. energy, but I have one. Oh, yeah, yeah they were like over half, half bolts Ener to half energy. Yeah, it's a it's a unique weapon. Yeah. So you want to modify that as well? Was that the Legacy of Wrath or something? Accurate overheats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Modify mine as well. Okay. Because I still have mine. Are yeah, they no. able to modify flamethrower flame weapons? No. They okay. well, they tell you those are absolutely useless too. I see. So I had I had two relic bolt pistols, but they're space marine sized, so I can only use one. So if anybody else wants the other one, does uh, Virlo have any? Does Virlo have what in the what now? He wasn't pistol. around during that mission, so I'll toss him the Relic Bolt Pistol then. I wonder if my Soulbound Gauntlets can ignore their armor in Power Field. I yeah, I wonder if a Power Field could work. I mean, then my, my Force Staff would be able to get through. My Soulbound Gauntlets might be able to get through too, because it ignores Well, my, my sword has a Power Field and didn't get through. So you're trying I to, wonder you're if they can modify the power field. Well, mine's, to to mine doesn't it. have a power field. Mine's a force weapon. So oh, okay. you're asking, I'm you're asking if they can modify. Yeah. Yeah. So they're gonna look over your gauntlet there, yell mug. And my staff, because it's a for the staff is a force weapon. And they and the can, soul belt gauntlet just straight up ignore armor. They can. They think they can apply their knowledge they learn with energy weapons to your your thing. You say you they they tell you you're rolling the dice. They don't know. No one has ever tried it. No, the Sabal Gauntlets do is an energy type. So, I they understand that. They just yeah. tell you you're you're rolling the dice. It, it's uh, fine. Yeah, they don't know. It's beyond their knowledge. They never had anyone with those weapons. Recently, 
the last ninety years, so they don't they don't know off the top of their head when they before they gain the knowledge to deal with to deal with them as they do now. Are they then, able to apply these changes to a uh, this chain sword I have, or do they? No, they uh, said weapon, weapons with a power field. Yeah, it has, you... it has a power field. So oh, it does. Yes, it's a it's a chain sword with a power field on top of it. Yes. Ah, uh, they they're iffy about it. They're very very iffy about it. They how don't about make the modifications? How about my Astartes Lightning Claw on rookie? I've also got a Demon Bane Power Sword myself. Hey, okay. yeah, they'll make the modifications. All right. Again, all experimental. They don't know. And what about? It will either it will either pass right through their shield and deal damage, or you could theoretically destroy your weapon. Is what they tell you. Damn. So. What about uh, what about the Volkite Culverin on Neil Tyson? The what now? So, Neil Tyson is a dreadnought, and yep. I got that. Uh. He is actually a Contemptor Pattern Dreadnought, because even though he was slated to be a Caster Ferrum, uh, there was a clerical error in the Mechanicus, and they they entombed him within a, uh, uh, a, a bigger boy than he should have gotten. And his primary weapon is a twin-linked Volkite Culverin on his right arm. Which is basically like nice. a laser rifle. Yeah. Like a huge rifle, like huge They can modify laser. that. They tell you they can yeah. modify that. Alright, sweet. More like a beam weapon, should I say, than a laser. A beam Don't forget to weapon. Add, hey, Cobbler, I sent you a message. Don't forget to add that weapon to rookie. Alright, let's see. Do do do. Ah, Relic Bolt Pistol. Alright, so, I will add that now. By the way, guys, uh, the modifies, modification they did is a 50-50 chance to deal damage through their shields. So, mod, add that to it. Alright. So, however you want to roll that. Uh, the experimental stuff that they did, though, you should add the caveat uh, on failure. You're going to have to roll, like, check use or something else. The weapon will be destroyed. Possible. Wait, can you repeat, can you repeat that? Yeah. So, so the experimental stuff. Mm -hmm. Uh, it has a 50/50 chance of getting the shields, but also has a possibility of destroying itself. On te and that'd be a techies roll uh, with a plus 40. And that's all weapons, including uh, melee and whatnot, right? No, it's just the experimental ones, like the, experimental. the uh, power weapons. Okay. Yeah, the laser weapons that they modified, those little bolter laser weapons, those are fine. Those just have the 50-50 chance, because they know that's a known to them. The other stuff that they have not messed with, uh, possible destruction. So. By the way, Moth, on that nope. bolt pistol... Uh, due to the way it's displayed, some of the stats are truncated. Like, I can't see to the end of range and damage on that. Okay, uh, the range increment is 30 meters on it, so it's 30, 30, 30, 30. And then the damage, the other stuff on there was my personal bonuses. So it's it's just the 3d10 plus 6. Okay, got it, got it. Unless you have extra stuff added on. I don't think I do. And the... The shielding they get guys gave you gives you a plus sixty to your tech use. Plus sixty? So yeah, plus sixty you can do those rolls. Alright. Okay. So you won't fail at often, if at all. Uh, you say that. Uh if you don't have a tech use trained, you will always roll a zero, just letting you know. I do not have tech use trained. Even if you're untrained, you can't roll? If you have it untrained, you will always roll a zero. Uh, if you if you have it trained, you will use like your intelligence uh, score. Ah. Yeah, I have a 27 to intelligence. Here, let me just do a quick roll for this. Like for example, if I roll in an untrained tech use right now, and like a trained tech use, you can Plus see eight. that 
Yeah. Good thing we've gotten some XP. Yes. <laughs> I see where your mug is going with this. I literally cannot train in tech use, so I'd have to have somebody teach me how to do stuff. I mean, can can we teach you? Uh, do we have a dreadnought yeah. who's skilled in tech use. Yep, yep, yep. You can spend a week training someone to get like. Yes, I will models. train. I will train Brazora. So, so you can at least bump it up one level. Yay! Oh, I get a whole twenty-seven added on to this. Sister Brazora, allow me to train you in the ways of technology. Allow me to train you in the ways of the Force. <laughs> Join us in the dark side. <laughs> Have cookies. <laughs> right? I wasn't expecting the last one. <laughs> That's an old but gold meme right there. Mm -hmm. A proto-meme, if you will. It was a meme before memes were called memes. Like Microsoft Sam. And it's only 800 XP to gain tech use. Yes, Woo. yes it is. Well, there you go. I guess while you're training me to use tech use, I'll train you how to sing. Yeah, yeah funny. What songs are you willing to teach me? Uh, hymns that broadcast how great the Emperor is. <laughs> Obviously. What else would you ever want to say? So yeah, uh... Oh, we are the Valiant Infantry. Yomug, specifically the Inquisitor, uh, is setting you aside after the briefing with, uh, the other, uh, Throne Agent. He hands you, basically, tar targets of opportunity that your kill team could possibly take out. Uh, but if you're specifically going after the rogue trader vessel you're gonna to have to take out this moon installation that seems to be the, the actual hive uh, control center for the Servax in that area if you're gonna deal with the rogue trader vessel station well the rogue trader is our objective okay. it is our mission and it sounds is like there anything else there that would make that mission easier Then he also tells you, I he he is the mission giver, right? He did summon you over for specifically take him out, and so he's adding on to the mission to deal with mm -hmm. the Cervax. Uh Because you won't get anywhere close unless you take out that take out this hive. Right, but is there any way other things we can do to make that task easier? Take out the hive? Um uh, He's looking through. Like some auxiliary mission that might, like, gain us a nice boon to then go in and do that mission. To then go after the rogue space mirror. Well, uh, that main hive installation is to their fleet. Uh, so to deal with the actual base itself, you'd have to take out the local localized hives. And locate and find. He has no idea where those are at. Uh, that's... And he kind of gives you a general idea of, like... Where they where they could be surrounding on that moon, so he, and he gives you some pointers like generally they might be in these areas here, but you'd have to hunt them down. You'd be on foot looking for them or searching for them. <clears throat> he says he knows there's at least one that's protecting that insulation. We do have uh, human scouts. We can't spread them out. Yep. Provided they're able to uh, report back. Oh, well, if we know they have lost comms, we also know where the enemy is at. So, that's not really a big deal. And the Inquisitor is willing to just give you what he has left of his scout forces. They have an additional thousand men to draw from. So. Plus the, the the fleet, the flotilla. He, he gives you command, Yelmug, with your experience and commanding forces and doing operations. He has full faith in your capability of 
leading them to victory is what he tells you. You're in charge now, guy. No pressure. No, no, no. He's still the Inquisitor. He's in charge of inquisitorial things. But he says, this is a military operation at this point, so he is giving his forces over to you, Yelmug. So, he's got the intel. You're doing the combat ops now. So, he's giving you all the intel he, that he has available to him. Very well, then. Well, I think we should hit one of the lesser stations to make a weakness in the uh, primary station and then hit the primary station to then go after the road trip. Opinions, anyone? I concur. No opinions. Okay. Uh, so you have three spot, three possible scouting locations for the local hives, and one to three hives you're dealing with. Well, we want to hit the ones that are protecting whatever the big hive that we have to hit to um, take out to the fences of uh, the rogue fleet. So whatever. So if I'm following this right, one of the local ones will take down some defenses for whatever hive we then have to hit for the ship, right? Yep. Okay. Yeah, that deals with all the ground guys. So there would be no ground adversaries other than the, the space marines that they have. Uh, he says, speaking of which, they do have one space marine squad themselves left they can assign to you. We'll, we'll save that for the uh, I think the attack on the, the rogue trader ship. Or I guess the rogue space marine unit. I still think that we probably should attach or have some tail on the rogue trader ship to determine where the other facilities may be located at. Because it's traveling between these facilities. Uh, so it might give the pinpoint location of them, or like close to yep. a pinpoint location. It definitely tells you stealth is key, because if they get discovered or they have to deal a direct battle, they will not win. And they've been unable, I'm, and they tell you, I'm assuming you've also dealt with their interference with communications to send out long range communicate, communicate at all, period. So, and he believes the Imperium has written this system off since it's on the fringe of the, the Imperium. So, right. So, I'll send this guy unit to just keep track of the rogue ship, and then others will send to scout the possible locations of what the local ones i guess yeah local one he says there's at least he knows there's at least one there's at least one that is producing infantry and in other vehicles or uh, just in generally causing chaos right basically they cannot assault that installation until they deal with that because if they were to assault the installation they'd be swamped by reinforcements Right, so we need to take care of that first. So we'll send all those guys to then try and find its location. Yep. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's see what the, let's see what your guys find. How many how many scouts are you sending out? Six. Six. Oh my god. First one doesn't. And they I will fade point die. the first one. <laughs> I will fade point reroll that first one. Hey, okay. okay, reroll the first one. Okay, that's 15. Yeah, all right, good. So the first one reports back, um, and there's remaining stealthy and all that stuff. 
they found a possible location to an installation. They see some weird, weird structure inside of a mountain. Um, so they asked if orders on that one, if you want to go further, they have not seen anything like it before. Could be possibly Xenos, could be possibly something else. They don't know. Oh shit, we woke up Necron, surf wrong alien well, I'll, species. I'll wait for the reports from the others before deciding on that. Uh, the second group reports back uh, when observing the area, they found some old in Imperium installations that seems to be overrun with those those entities. Um, they're hanging back. Definitely they're there. Uh, the third group reports back. They have not found anything of note. Uh, and they're making their way back to their ship. The fifth group reports back. Uh, they found definitely an alien Xeno structure of some sort. Uh, heavily guarded by what appears to be ships and vehicles. That's not the main installation you guys are going to be dealing with uh, that the Inquisitor gave you. And the last group, they just don't hear from them. But there's your reports. So first one was a mountain. Second one was uh, Imperials architecture with a lot of them. Third one didn't find anything. Fourth one found an alien ship. Found an alien installation. Right, an alien installation. With, ship, with the, ships guarding it. The fifth one didn't come back, but what about the sixth one? Oh, that's right, yes. Because technically the sixth one would have gotten a seven. Fifth one would have got a seven. The sixth one got a 90. Well, the first yeah. one was the 100 that got a 15. Okay, that one got re-rolled as the 15. Yeah. All right, so the yeah. seventh, seventh one, uh, sixth one, or sixth one, right? Back, well, the seven, yeah, 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 the seven. Uh, they re they report back. Uh, they haven't found anything themselves, and also heading back. Okay, so uh, three possible yeah. locations. So a five it was no comms, right? Or yeah. was it nothing? Uh, yes, no comms, dead, no dead comms. silent. Okay. Presumed uh, MIA. So, I mean, as far as we know, the no comps could also just be it. So, we have technically four locations we could look at. Uh, but you said there was an alien presence in the mountains? They said it was a structure of unknown origin that they saw in the mountains. Uh, it's not quite Imperials, not quite the aliens that you guys encountered, so they're unsure. They'd have to get closer to inspect it. All right, send them in closer then. But tell them to do a good job while doing it. <laughs> we can ensure they do a good job by spending a fate point. Yeah, they so they get a little bit closer. They tell you it is definitely those Xenos you guys have been encountering, and it's, uh, it seems to have created a tunnel network, at least from what they're observing, into the mountain. But they definitely see that that shiny metallic nanonites that you guys have been dealing with, uh, but it's also integrated with Imperial stuff and the rock. It just says it's really weird looking versus what you guys already encountered. And they did, yeah, so they describe a tunnel entrance into the mountain. Uh, do you want to go further? No, it's a Sarax place. They'll, their comms will stop working as soon as they go into it. It sounds like the first one is. Probably easier to infiltrate than the one swarming with uh, infantry or the alien installation with ships guarding it. True. We could also try rescouting place five 
since we didn't hear anything back. Yeah, so we, we probably should. Um, so three and six can go in scout five. Since they came back. Yep. The Imperial yeah. Architecture is probably not the place that's being uh, producing stuff. You're having them scout number five? Yeah. Number four is a good contender, and number one is a good contender. Okay, so they report back. There is a installation, and then that in that area with a ton of ships and a extremely large vessel in the area too. Uh, basically, like four, but bigger. They said it's about as big as that one you guys first encountered coming into the system. So, very very large ship. It seems to be a uh, area for ships to do something. That there, might there... be the resource exchange point. Mm -hmm. I think oh. one's probably the uh, manufacturer place because, I mean, what better way to make a bunch of stuff and hide it than underground in a mountain? Yeah, but would you really leave something like that unguarded? Well, you would draw attention to it if there's a lot of people. Well, I don't know. Number four seems like a good contender for it, for that as well. Yeah, it, it is a good contender for it. At least if we... Mm, number five, at, at, if we infiltrate number five, we can at least find where it leads to as while well, the other ones are just like a, a guesses as to what what they are because the five if it's if it's a resource drop drop off point then it should lead to the manufacturing facility eventually are you saying smother ourselves in we could try like find a crate get hop in the crate yeah big a crate big enough to fit a carcaradon yeah yeah and a dreadnought. Plus a few other marines. Yeah, it's gonna to be tough. I th uh, Virlo is gonna be, I think that, like he's gonna be doing most of the scouting. Yep. Uh, and he will probably have to make an entrance for us or find an entrance for us to get into the yep. facility. As too many people will just cause chaos. So what are you going for? Going for the ship number five or number four? Uh, which which one are we going for, guys? Don't number we have to take out most... that the moon base with the the shield generators so we can actually? You're trying to things. You're trying to locate the hive network that controls the infantry that defends that that main installation. That's what the that's what the Inquisitor is trying to allude to. That there's a a local hive network on the moon that controls that garrison. If you were to knock that out, all infantry would cease to exist, and then you can deal with the installation, which would then knock out the the local ships in the area. Yeah, let's do that then. <laughs> that's what he's alluding to. Right, but we have to find which one of these locations is that auxiliary first. Yeah. And five seems to be like the high risk, high reward uh, type of situation here. Yep, and the any other ones seems to be any, less of a risk. And there's an unknown number of ground hides, by the way. It could be one or up to three or more. And that's what he tells you. So they've encountered several before on, on in the area before. Well, if we hit if we hit one, chances are the forces guarding the others will increase. So do we want to go for the highest guarded one first, or medium guard? I mean, well, if whichever one we do, it's going to be a fight, because we've all seen our stealth checks. <laughs> Unless you just little... send me in, because yes. like my entire character is built for stealth. 
Yes. Like, unless I'm getting, like, minus... minus hefty modifiers, I'm... I'm gonna be nearly ironclad on my stealth, mainly because I do have... Why did it not save my solo mode abilities? I populated this shit. Oh, wait. I'm on the wrong tab. Uh, oh, speaking of, can I also get some training in silent move? Yeah. Because that's untrained. <laughs> so... I'm going to tell you now, that training hasn't helped me at all for both my concealment and silent move. I keep filling them. <laughs> well, here's me trying to sneak. And you that's on that? a 26. So... So... Yeah. Um... Negative 0 0.05. Jesus Christ. Hey, look. That's me also filling it with a 66. Sorry, a not, not Jesus Christ. Luck. Emperor Christ. There we look go. Look at me succeeding there. Oh, sorry. That was my old agility. Sorry. All right. Uh, uh, take so, away 40. Take away 40. So anyway, what as I was saying before I got interrupted, um, my main solo Shit. mode ability Oops. is Master of the Shadows, which I can re-roll any failed concealment, shadowing, and silent move checks. I get one free re-roll on all of that. And then at nice. rank 5, I don't know if I'm rank 5 yet. No, I'm rank You're four. rank 5. You should be. Well, I don't know how much XP you got. He was rank 4. He should be like rank 5 at least. Yeah, well. I, I haven't spent a lot of my XP. I Why? need to do that. Uh, God damn. I'm a big I'm, dummy. I mean, I don't know about you guys, I'm rank 16. I'm rank well, 8. That's I don't because think we you're can go above uh, 8, can we? As no, Space Marines, not no. Okay. I or am the equivalent the, uh, of a rank 8 Space Marine, yes. Yeah. Got it. So, so yeah, at rank 5, I get plus 20 to all concealment, shadowing, and silent move checks. On yeah, top of the being able to, for this. yeah, and I can I also get armor penetration bonuses to surprise targets. Not that it's going to matter too much unless I'm assassinating someone. Uh, you guys will eventually put a silencer on that bolt pistol. I mean, uh, I have a go. no, I I know, but uh, I have a stalker bolt gun. With I, that's not trial. gonna do shit all to any of these things. Yeah, to hurt them, you have to have that spiffy energy or a spiffy uh, laser gun. Thus, Modified. the relic bolt pistol I gave you. Modified spiffy. Yeah, that's why I said spiffy. If I just said a regular laser gun, it wouldn't work. That's why I said a spiffy laser gun. Yeah. But is it the relic bolt pistol? Yes, the Relic okay. Bolt Pistol we've upgraded to be able to work. Aha, uh -huh. alright. So that's, because... that's your only way of dealing damage now. Got it. Well, that and the, the laser rifles we were all given. Yeah, sure. Because the laser rifles deal some damage, right? <laughs> yeah, it's 2D10. <laughs> the Relic Bolt, Relic Bolt Pistol is 3D10 plus 6. Uh, the Stalker Bolt Gun, uh, has a thing where if you aim, you gain bonus damage die. So you can have, like, 4 d10. Well, the problem is, it's getting through the shield. Yeah, 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 yep. yeah, I'm just, I'm just thinking. Yeah. yeah. 50, 50 shot. But I'm, I'm saying, well, it wouldn't even be, because it's ballistic, so I can't get through the shield. But, um... Wait, wait, is the Relic Bolt Pistol accurate? Yes. Yes. Oh, it has the same thing as the Stalker Bolt Gun, then. It's okay. just 10 to ballistic skill on aiming, that's what accurate is. Yeah. No, hold on. Oh, what was it? So you're talking there. about something specific to Cowboy's Guide. There. Death Watch Shadow. Uh, yep, plus 10 to ballistic skill. If such an attack also uses the aim action, grants extra 1d10 of damage for every 2 degrees of success, up to a maximum of when 2d10. When firing a single shot, yeah. Yeah. Up to a maximum of 2 extra d10. Wow! 
I hate these stupid ass obscure rules that are only mentioned <laughs> one time. Right. Ever. <laughs> why would you ever want to aim? This. This is yeah. why you want to aim. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But it's only if you want to shoot a single shot. If you are firing full auto, aiming kind of sucks. You know, the bolt pistols are single shot anyway, so. The okay. bolt pistols. That's good. So that's up to 5d10. Damn. Shit, that would have made my fucking Exodus rifle and pistol so much better. <laughs> oh my. They're 4d10 <laughs> and they both have accurate. <laughs> Welcome to the Forge. Alright, so basically, you'll be going in, but we'll be nearby if you need us. Uh, he will, like... So as I was saying, you'll probably need to find or make an entrance for us to get in right. into the facility. What is the facility you're attacking? Are infiltrating? It's sounding like number five. Yep, number five. Which was the bigger facility with the big ship above it. Oh yeah. Okay. Do keep in mind your technology may fail, so have something Explode. redundant. No. <laughs> yep. Explode. They, they emphasize it could explode. What could? Guns. Anything that's not the laser rifles they gave us. They well, they seemed rather confident the relic bolt pistol would work. Yeah, they said, <laughs> yeah, this is, yeah. They, because they've seen that before. <laughs> Those tech priests like, yeah, well, th this is perfect. And then they tell you they wish they had more of this. Basically, they are ranting and raving how awesome that you had this. So. Okay, so anything other than the laser guns and the really bolt pistol. It's a shame we didn't scavenge the rest of that entire crate of pistols we found. And rifles and all sorts of things. So. Some of those tech priests, they, 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 they said they were around when they first introduced those and they were amazeballs. Basically, that's what he's telling you. Alluding to. It's a shame they don't have smaller ones. They said no. These are all Space Marine Boy weapons. I don't want a Space Marine Boy weapon. I want a Space Marine Man weapon. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Man weapons. Man weapons, goddammit. Man. Emperor, damn it. Just give me a good old fashioned man pad. Okay, so you guys are going to installation uh, number yes. five. They drop you I off. Laugh. Every time I hear that in the news. What, man pad? Yeah, the man pads. Taking out Russian jets. Yep. That's what they are. Yeah, I know. That's what they're called, but it's just funny. Man portable air defense. That's what it stands for. The military loves their acronyms. I know. But I think the best military acronym in the Russia-Ukraine war so far is the attack and missile. <laughs> nice. It's actually Whoa, called that. Oh, someone has a big, huge radius, don't they, to see what the fuck. Um, is it me? I think it's Karnov. It might be me. Yeah, it's, it's me. Like, okay. Um, What's your visual range in your character? Uh, no, nope, it's me. It might be all of us. This one seems to be a hundred meters, hundred feet. We're in feet currently. Oh, feet! Oh, damn. Uh, sorry, that that might explain why I was like, man, why is everything messed up? I mean, if you put it to meters, then it, you just tripled our sight range. So. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it should be that way. Yeah, if it's daytime, it should be huge range. Yeah. 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 It's not. It's like dusk. So. I assume we were given uh, some replacement armor. 
since yeah. ours uh, currently... I assume we waited a few days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, oh, you okay. waited. You're fully equipped. You, you're geared to go. Did I get that stealth game? training in the meantime? Yep, yeah, you can increase it by one. Okay, good. To, to, to train. Oh, you can become trained. Yeah. yeah. Trained. I presume you can also get the tech use training. I hope yep. so, since we had that little bit of downtime. Yeah. Basic training and tech use and stealth. Now I won't auto-fail rolls. It was a very intense week. Yeah. We took a crash course in how to press a power button. Whoa. Whoa. Power cycle. Oh my god, is issues. that how technology works? It runs on electricity? Holy shit! My life has changed. No, no not just the electricity. I'm still only powered by the faith in the Emperor. Cobra, oh, so I only have basic spirit. training. I only have basic training. Yeah, I know. I know, but that's all I know. Electricity exists now. No, you would have you would have also known that uh, about machine spirits because I would have told you that at least. Holy shit, machine spirits exist. Yeah, there you go. The fuck? They are real. They weren't just shit. That guy was blabbering off. Oh my god. <laughs> that other guy could have saved himself. Oh god. Damn. Go to Damrung. So what are you guys doing in this installation? Can you guys see where you're at? You should be yeah, we're in a field. Yeah, we're in a grassy field. Yep. Oh no, we're on the grassy knoll. I tell you, uh, the installation is uh, due north of your position. So. Somehow I can see that through the uh, half opaque fog of war yeah that would be called fog of war yeah we have the entire map explored yeah. yeah yeah which is fine you, you would have intel on the area because your scouts came earlier so that's fine all right brothers i'm going in i'll try to find an entrance Oh yeah, we still have those camo tarps, don't we? Yeah, we have camo cloaks. Well, we had them. I don't know if we still have do. Well, camo cloaks shouldn't be uh, like ruined by being uh, having this powder ripped out. Yes, it's just literally camouflage blanket. Yes. All right, All right, I walk up to uh, the facility while I'm stealth. Do I need to do a silent move check for that? Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Minus 30. All right, silent move. And check my abilities. It's actually going to be minus 10 because I do have an innate plus 20. 3.1. It's a success. Also, how many uh, silent move checks do you want from me just to get Every up to the move. facility? Every time you okay. move. Okay. move your full movement. So that's going to be like... Keep in mind, you still have that agility bonus slapped in because it's the same session. Right. He said every time you make a full move, so just do a bunch of half moves and you only have to roll once. I don't know. Anytime you move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I but got you can that. Ha you, you can half move and go slower and get a bigger bonus. Double the bonus. No, I'm just going to full move. So that would be two more rolls then. Say modifier minus 10. Minus 10. Well, I mean... While you're outside the facility, when you get closer, then you're going to be fighting against the perception checks. Alright. Where the heck is silent? Oh, there it is. Don't forget to set your agility to uh, the two. The little, uh, what not your agility bit. That will affect your stealth rolls. Oh. I have unnatural agility? Yeah, you have unnatural agility too right now. Oh, okay. Okay. Alright. 
And we'll do Earth Silent Move. And I'm fate pointing. This takes me down to one fate point left. That just can be a flat roll. Oh, just barely. Okay. Hey. So I approach the facility. And I suppose I would do search to try and find an entrance that I can slip into. Well, as far as you can tell, from what you see, there's no visible walls of any kind. You just see various towers. Okay. Spaced out. I relay this information back to the kill team. I mean, wherever you've seen the map, you should have saw it on your map token, the towers. Yeah. Out. Yeah, I see it. So... Uh, I would like to scrutinize the towers to see if there might be any weak points where we can breach an entry or uh, if there's any any space marine sized anything to get in. So would I do a scrutiny check for that? My, uh, 60. Ooh, alright. If this is an alien thing, you have no idea what you're looking at. Yep, nope. It's, uh, it's a, it's definitely a thing, whatever it is. Yep, you have no idea I what it know. is. You, you, you see openings everywhere, as far as you're concerned. Can I do a Xeno's lore check? With the information you got? Yeah. Uh, yeah, plus, plus 20. Plus 20, alright. 69, the information giggity. that you read over... And in the, and the debrief, you know that they have force fields out of the wazoo. So even though it looks open, more than likely there's a force field surrounding the base. So you got to find another way in through one of the towers. Okay. So in other words, we can't go between the towers. We have to find a way in from the tower itself. As far as your intel tells you, it's it would be instant death. Holy shit. Going into the tower or going between the towers? Going in between the towers. <laughs> the instant deaths for a space marine. Yep. So it's a good that's thing we why have we're not here that isn't a space marine. <laughs> I'm going to assume I die even further out from the field. <laughs> Alright. Well, we won't know until we test it. <laughs> it's, it's I get, like, right here dead. Oh, yep. She was correct. <laughs> Alright. Uh Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna just pick a tower and try and find some kind of entrance. You should pick the left tower. I did pick the left tower. <laughs> Good. Consequently. Well there's three. There's I'm noticing there's three now. There's uh Left, right, and middle. I'm actually at the middle tower. Do a tech use as you get to the middle tower. Alright. And you get that plus 60. Plus 60 tech use. Alright. Well, yeah, because it's trying to drain your power. Ah. So you, you, you pass. You know, this thing is actively trying to destroy your technology. Good thing I had that minus, or plus 60. Damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't think you can fail that roll. You have a, what is that, 70-something? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that's the whole point of the, the shielding they gave you, to prevent this. But you know it's there, so they did try, and the shielding did its work. So. Alright. And your intel tells you on these specific towers that these are disruptor towers, more than likely. Uh, they don't know much past that, that it disrupts technology and emits these, the strong shield, shields around installations. Okay, well now that I'm right in front of the tower here, 
Uh, is there any way in? Not I... that you see. Okay. You see just a glimmering wall of metallic nanites, and it seems to be pulsating and doing weird stuff. So, I you don't would... see anything visible past that, other than the gyra gyration of the fluid. The right. Fluid. So I would like to do a logic check to see with the information that we know of, if it's even possible to get through this force field. 20. Minus 20? Plus 20. Plus 20. All right. No. All right. At least through the building itself. Uh, your intel tells you there's possible points of, ports of entry, but no one's been crazy enough to try it. Until now. Right, they usually avoid these heavily in, heavily defended installations. Uh, the the what you what you got what you gather through reading through information. They usually avoid these heavily guarded installations. All right, I'm going to try and find another way in. Okay. So what would that be then? You can navigate. You can just walk around and see what you find. Yeah, I'll do surface navigation. I'll probably have to do a silent move check. Oh, yeah. What are you guys just cheering them on in the background? I mean... <laughs> Not with this much noise. No. <laughs> Alright, go right. Go right? Oh, yeah, go right. Just go right as far as you can go when you're silent move. So I believe that's... Let's see and how far go up that. a bit. Yeah, go up a bit. Up to about here? Yeah. So that's going to be two silent move rolls. Okay. As you enter that area, go ahead and do an agility check. Minus 20. Got to do my silent move first. That, that too. Uh, I am fate re-rolling that. And I now have zero fate points. So that will be just a flat. There we go. Okay, agility modifier minus 20. All right. Oh, anyone spare fate point? <laughs> yeah, otherwise you're going to take uh, a lot of damage, I'm assuming. I have zero left. I've got one. Ericlades is but is not here at the moment. Oh. Ericlades, you got a fate point? <laughs> nope. Yeah. Alright, All right. you have my last take that much then. Okay, about to say otherwise you take that much damage. Uh yeah, I'd rather not. Don't fluff this one up. So what was okay? It was minus so, twenty before. Now so now it's, it's gonna uh, be minus ten. Oh, I passed. Yeah, your character just hits the, the that energy barrier shield, and you pull back, and your suit heats up. You so are so I get blown backwards by it. Yeah, your suit is literally on fire by it. So uh oh. You... Um, am I gonna have to? Uh... Hold up, and you get pushed back that many meters from the shield. Which oh, seven be, meters? Yeah, it's actually so, almost nothing. Yeah, from this is where the shield impact was. So. It's just like right here. No, no, no. I mean, the shield's right here. You actually passed the shield. When, that's why I rolled Oh, it. oh, okay. So Got seven it. Seven meters from right there. Yep. So seven meters, which would be... You'd be right there, more likely. And I'm definitely feeling my suit getting hotter, right? Because it's on fire? Yeah. Oh, boy. Uh, is there any damage other than it just being really fucking hot? Uh, it's really effing hot. Uh, you are on fire. You are going to take a negative 30 on your stealth checks. Oh, boy. And so you put the fire out. Uh, I stop, drop, and roll. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say that. Yep. I, I do a stop, that? drop, and roll. All right. Uh, do a. What's the, what's the 
awareness or what is no per, per what is the perception? I keep forgetting what the hell that's. It called. is awareness. Perception awareness. is uh, your raw stat, but awareness is an actual skill. Yeah, yeah aware, skill. do awareness. All right, just a flat roll. Flat roll, no modifier. Should be pretty easily. You hear right. a weird, periodic screeching noise. Which side of the force field is it coming from? It's coming from inside the installation. Well, uh -oh. I think you just set off the alarm. <laughs> uh, is there any way I can see if uh, they're sounding the alarm, if they know we're here? Uh, uh, Xenos lore, and then plus, plus 30, because you have intel. All right. 30. That's a perimeter alarm, as far as you're aware, based on the intel. So Brothers! They know, so they know something has hit the perimeter, they're not sure what. I've set off the alarm. We have to retreat. Quick. Everyone, start squeaking like a bird. <laughs> squeak, <laughs> squeak, that's what birds sound like. <laughs> squeak, squeak. So, you can... I thought it was tweet, they, tweet. You can stay here, wait for whatever is coming, or you can move. I'm getting the fuck out of there. Uh, and I'm trying to be as stealthy as possible about it, so I'm going to be rolling silent moves. Yep. Oh. Yep. Okay. Oh, no, that's a crit fail. Bye, rookie. Do you have any rolls? I'm out of fate points. Oh, hang on. Uh, I do, in fact. Can't cause... you re-roll failed tests? Yes. Yes, I can. I get one free re-roll. Alright. Oh, damn. Okay, cool. Just fucking barely. Ah, uh, I was looking forward to like a whole party. Not even close. I'll be honest. Upon you. I'll be honest. Uh, I was kind of looking forward to that as well. <laughs> yeah, whole party, search party, looking for you. So, are you gonna keep looking? I mean, because as far as you know, they don't know you're here. You just hit the perimeter alarm. Right. So they don't know. I mean, for all us. they know, a uh, a bird. Could have just flown into the uh, force field, right? Something. Oh, something large enough to set off the alarm. A large bird. A large bird. Yeah, a la very <laughs> quick, large bird. Quick, I find a boulder and push it up against it. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm not fucking doing that. I'm not going all the way back there, risking more silent move checks just to do that. Um, all right. But technically, I am a bird, so it's not wrong. I'm right, a, so I'm what, are you guys, guard. what are you guys doing at this point? We're getting, I'm getting the fuck out of here, and I'm relaying to the team everything that's happened so far. So we're gone. Yeah, that sounds like we're not going to be able to get into this space. Yeah. Tactical retreat. So you guys going back to the ships? I think so. And the Inquisitor asked for a debrief on what, what did you discover? Nothing. We discovered that there is indeed a force field. And there does not be... There... It, there oh, right. uh, yeah, yeah, it's quite hot. hot. There, it's quite hot when you touch it. Yes. Yeah. yeah I literally so caught on fire. Yeah, he says a disintegration field of some sort that defends their installations. Yeah. Um, he asked the description of the installation you've encountered. Was I able to see through the shield to the other side, or no? Did you see anything with your actual character? I mean, my vision range is pretty small, so I don't think so. Unless something was right on the other side of the shield. Oh. Uh so I I explain in full detail to the Inquisitor what I saw, including the 
uh, the towers, how far they were spaced out, um, what the towers looked like, just their general appearance, and also the whatever properties of the shield I was able to glean. The fact that it's invisible and also it's uh, quite incendiary. I've lost many, 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 many forces to those damn things. Um, All right. And he tells you more than likely that seems like the installation we're looking for. Is there a possible way that we could disable the shields with an orbital bombardment? And he tells you that's suicide. Oh. <laughs> he said we would be directly fired back upon from the installation. <laughs> That is no, no go. Ah, oh, right. no, we didn't try. What? Digging under the force field. You know, I thought about that, but I wasn't about to try and do that because something no, tells but, me uh, it wouldn't have gone probably over wouldn't well. Probably would work, yeah. Yeah, the Inquisitor tells you there are there are ports of entry. They said there's small little installation ports of entry you're gonna have to sneak past into to get in or brute force your way through. Yeah, like we're going to brute force our way through an energy field that eliminates everything it touches. No, no. 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 You, did you see those little buildings in between the towers? Yeah. Those are like little barriers that don't have the force field in them. Oh. And he tells you that's how they move their troops in and out. And he said, it's either that or we come down on top of the base itself. Because he says the energy field seems to only be a ring around the base, not a... Oh, it's not a dome. Not a dome. He tells you, as far as they're aware, it's not a dome. But he says, if if you were to do that, you'd be going in guns hot. <laughs> yeah. That would work well. I mean, if you're feeling particularly suicidal, we could airdrop in the... Uh, Dreadnought? Dreadnought. Yep. But uh, let's not do that until we can... Uh... So he, we... says, uh, he would need more intel on the base itself. He says more than likely that's like at the top of his list of of possible targets. All right. Uh, he'd need more intel on that installation and the other installations that you guys have discovered. So and can I... we visit a different installation to try and see if we can uh, finagle our way into that one? We are entirely out of fate points, by the way. True. Yep. And they, there are things that get it's to kill you, like that shield. Yeah, I'd rather not risk that one. So, and they're, all their installations have similar defensive structures. Okay. Except so. the mountain. Uh, <laughs> as far as asked, we know. He asked about what do you mean the mountain? The mountain. We found another base. Seemingly unguarded from the outside. Seemingly, we didn't push any further. Yeah, he's never had any intel on anything like this structure before. As far as he's aware from these things. Because they're very bold with their installations. So, it's an uh, area of interest. And he asks, it could be many things. He has no clue. It could be a death trap. <laughs> so. Well, all of them are a death trap. More so than not, though. Especially if there's only one way in or out. Well, there's one way for us to walk in, but there's many ways for us to get out. Oh, Gates. Oh, okay. He didn't know you could do that. He kind of looked, looked, looked very interesting. It's like, do you need to see inside the place to gate into it? Well, I yes. I'll need to know where I'm going to escape. Unless you want to get into a wall. Yeah. We're not, we're not going to get into the place. We can gate near it and then walk in, but then we can't gate out for 12 hours. Interesting. Hmm. So it's very much an escape mechanism. Or a get a lot of people through really fast mechanism. Right. It right. is a one-way trip, though. Uh, For 12 you, still hours. Have, you still have your scout team out there. Are you going to push your scout team to go in there? Into the mountain? No. Because if we do that, 
they'll know people scout it and they'll know that it's been found or their defenses might be higher if we right. do decide to go up, up the mountain. Okay. So it's it's best not to have the scout teams revealed uh, for areas that... Well, you know what I'm saying. Yep. Uh, and then he's discussing the, the Imperial Archi the Imperial base of Ron with infantry. Uh... Tells you more than likely that is also a possible hive. They've been known to take over facilities and utilize Imperium's facilities to facilitate the construction of their nanonites. Those they've seen in in person, right? So they repurposed Imperial tech to do it. He describes to you they're basically they look like giant vats. So, <clears throat> well, how do you destroy the giant vats? Huh? Oh, he says they're not shielded like everything else. You just destroy it. You just shoot it. Blast it. hammer. Yeah, explode it. I mean, it, 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 melee weapons don't do anything. Um, or destroy the nuclear reactor, powering everything. They they tell you they're siphoning all the power from the installation itself to <laughs> create these things. At least in the imperial installations they've 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 seen. So, so carry in a nuke, detonate the nuke when at a safe distance. Yeah. Yeah, they're easy to s dispatch once you're inside the installation. It's dealing with the infantry and everything else that's the issue. And they're gar mostly guarded by elite forces. All right, but then you just say the installation where we're at was the installation we were looking for. Said more than likely is the installation you're looking for is that the is the main local hive. More than likely, he's telling you that based on his intel and his and his insight over the last hundred years, that's probably what you want. They would not commit that much resources if it was anything else, or it could be something else entirely. He doesn't know. He needs more intel. Is what he's telling you. Mm -hmm. So he's kind of pushing you to like get more intel in that direction and he's curious also about the mountain as well he says that's that's different than way he's been dealing with the cervax i say we uh go tell it on the mountain what do you guys think well then i think the mountain might be an opportunity to get like technology or stuff to bring back and look at right and it doesn't seem like the mountain's protected by a fence yeah like a, like everything else is which immediately notifies them uh, the moment we push through which could also insta kill us the moment we touch it <laughs> yeah so I think going to the mountain might be just a good option for one to know what it is to hopefully obtain some kind of technology that can then help us with anything else technology and intel it's a good starting point yeah sure all right let's do it you guys want to do that you want to do here <laughs> yeah because i would say you have no fate points left so you'd be rolling the chance of things that insta kill you yeah, maybe uh, we should do that next session. <laughs> yep. Yeah. All right. So you guys all get uh, 2,000 XP. All right. Thank you, Boko. Hopefully that was a good session. Yeah. That was a very good session. Yeah. It was fun. Got to get some RP in there. Yeah, so I'm trying to do a little bit of RPing, uh, mixing with combat. They essentially have plot. I was thinking about it, I was like, man, these guys essentially have plot armor. Yes. <laughs> yeah. You have, to, you have to deal with the plot armor. So you've now dealt with the plot armor. You well, now have something to. Well, but Boko, the the thing is, if we can deal with the plot armor, then it's not plot armor because. That's true. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. you control that. Yeah. The plot is controlled I had by that, the GM. Yeah, when I. When I was making this this uh, uh, 
this specific mission, I had that in there that the Inquisitor would immediately give you an an answer for their shielding. Right. Not the answer, but an answer. An answer. Yep. Yeah. The answer would be they're just they're getting destroyed left, right, and center. Oh, I thought you were gonna say the answer is that it's plot armor. <laughs> No, 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 no. I was just thinking, like, how funny that is. It's literally plot armor. Yeah. <laughs> kind of. I mean, you didn't have an answer to it until the plot said you did. Yeah, true, true. So Sorry, I guess it is plot armor. <laughs> it's kind of like plot armor, but <laughs> no, it's alien armor, so. That deals with all forms of damage. It's alien plot armor, okay? Yeah, unless you can penetrate it. That's what she said. Giggity. <laughs> Ooh, but they may have blood armor, but we have blood weapons. It's okay. <laughs> so, question, Boko. Is Parker's guy the BBEG of this one? No. Aw. W- were you thinking that, too? Yeah. Come no. on. Silvery nanotech? That's definitely him. Ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Yeah, but he's not the Cervax, though. He he died in the portal, as far as you're aware. Well, I don't know shit all about that. That character, character died, does it. and that other character died. Yeah. I do know above board, Parker's character lived and escaped. That's true. That's Spoilers. True. Spoilers. I should almost bring. I should, bring him, I should bring him back just for that. I, that does sound. Yeah, I thought. I thought you did for this, and I was like, oh damn. You should do that. It would be fun. Get a little cross, cross referencing in the campaigns. Cross linking. Well, I already did with the giant eye of terror. The, the other sector. <laughs> yeah. That you guys created and that's closed. That is in the lore now. Ooh, nice. At least your guys' lore. It's it's the uh, Boko Marine lore. Oh yeah. The Bokoverse. Yeah! <laughs> Boko Marine into the Bokoverse. <laughs> uh, Alright, well, damn, that was a fun session. I will see you all next week. See you next week. Alright, see ya. See yeah, you guys got off to play Helldivers? I am, yes. Oh, okay. <laughs>